Last thing that happened, as like you guys all remember, I'm sure, was you guys <coughs> essentially were requested by the local believers of the of the Morning Lord to go find the missing bones of one Saint Andrew. Um, apparently, according to the local father, he said that Saint Andrew's bones protects all of us from strawdits, vampiric things. Um, creating a holy barrier that protects our church, rendering a hallowed ground where vampire or undead fear to tread. However, within the past night, our bones, the bones of St. Andrew, have been stolen from beneath their resting place amidst the congregation. He believes that one of his uh, teenage wards, a man, a young boy going by the name of Dovu, he stole the guy. Yes, he turns out he did steal them and he sold them for about 10 gold pieces. To the local grave digger. Only ten um, gold pieces. Yeah, that's, that's a, a lot. That's, that's a like lot more. of money. That's a lot of money for peasants. Yeah. That's like ten years of food. Good. Adventurers are fucking loaded, dude. Like adventurers and yet, make a lot of money. Yeah, just like rich mercenaries. They're like Fortune 500 companies. <laughs> you silly peasants should all be mercenaries. Should all be uh, adventurers. Yeah. Have you tried it? So, great. I, I am Goldman of Sax. I have come for your. <laughs> Your treasure. I've, I've come to sack everything. Um, so, you guys, with the aid of some quick investigations of Jorvis tracking down some people, <clears throat> we found out that the local gravedigger by the name of Heinrich had been taking the bones and has interred them in a coffin beneath his shop. Um, oh, an wandering down bones? there, after dealing with Heinrich Vandervoort, <clears throat> or Vandervoort, by accidentally getting in a shoving match of, of a senile, of a very decrepit old man and a small gnomish boy. <laughs> I think the rules were four versus a one. Um, he slipped on what looked like dried blood and fell down a flight of stairs, snapping his neck at the bottom. Um, his, clo his corpse now decorates his basement. Um, after a this poor bastard. Yeah, he's, he's super dead. Who's gonna, who's gonna make the, the coffins now? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe a uh, Dovu after he gets fired from the cathedral. <laughs> um, so you guys found that in several of these coffins were interred vampiric spawn of Strahd, all of them bearing his crest upon their armor. Yeah, there's a um, fucking lot of them too. Yeah, a ghastly SVJ standing for Strahd von Zarovich in cursive calligraphic script. Um, <laughs> no, I thought you said SJW. <laughs> <laughs> They nah. lurched out of their coffins and assaulted the party, craving blood. Um, which of course starts the combat. Uh, Vampire Spawn 3, with the most quick reflexes, lurches towards Iron Wolf Greybane. Damn. And lashes out at you with the two claw attacks. Um, you see that as he pulls his hands towards you, um, they grow these preternaturally long and sharp claws, which he swipes randomly at you. Sending, like, in a frenzy. It's hard to predict where he's gonna hit. Um, but the first one bounces off your the armor of your shoulder, and the second one grabs you. But instead of doing damage, mm -hmm. he actually pulls you into a grapple and bears his fangs, which gleam in a low light. Man. Uh, so that brings up Vampire Spawn 7, who's going to run towards Amstel Cores. Uh, what? Get away. So no damage yet? He's just, he's just oh, grasping? He's, he's grappling, so you can't move. Um, okay. With the 16, he latches on to Amstel, and with a 23... He lunges towards your artery and pierces you, biting you, draining your blood with supernatural quickness. You feel weak as you take six points of damage, and mm. your maximum HP goes down by that number as well. Ooh. Jesus! Wait, so does that mean that he's just like, he's full with a lower amount of health, or does he get like... He takes the damage, and then the damage just... So his maximum HP, instead of being 43, is 37 now. But so is his total. So I'm at yes. full health, but at 37. Yes. Wait. Yes. Is that permanent, or should I to, like, make uh, a note of this somewhere? Once you, once you finish a long rest, the, the, the reduction uh, disappears. Brent, did, uh, you, did you say oh, that we're... I don't really need to track it, though, because if that's the way the damage works every time, it's just going to work me down to dying anyway. Like, I can't heal above whatever health I have right now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. What was that, Pete? Did you say that we are all freshed up, or was that just... Uh, You're all damage? fresh. Okay. All you did last session was investigate this murder, or this thievery. Um, as the vampire pulls his bloody lips off of Amstel's neck, he goes, "Big up, blood." Because <laughs> you know your blood is you're, you worship the great cold one, so your blood is alcoholic. Blood burp. Yeah. <laughs> Take that, vampire. 
Dr. Scum. Share the blood, brother. <laughs> Shrieks as he rushes towards Iron Wolf Greybane and tries once Damn. again. Damn. Um, yes, he, he latches onto you and then pierces your neck, draining forth your lycanthropic blood. Okay. Um, you get your HP, max HP goes down by five. Can um, I put, like, parentheses in there? Pulls his, his fangs out of your neck and you feel... You feel like angry because you were struck. Yeah. Um, and you notice that his teeth seem to be. He actually seems to be getting nauseous because you have like Yeah. He's a constitution saving throw. There you go. Let he, that complicate your system. He goes. <laughs> tries to gag it up and becomes poison, which means all attacks against him have advantage. Oh. Uh, Jorvis oh. Dickerson. You're nice. Actually, um, yeah, come at me. Use the symbols. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Dan. I forgot. Bam! Skull and crossbones. How do I, do I, how do I get my attacks again? Uh, oh, go to your character sheet. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, who's got the symbol of Strahd? Yeah, okay. Or that, uh, like, emblem. Them, it looks like, it looks like they're vampiric knights. Like, they're clad in this gleaming half plate that is very rusted. Oh. But you see that on their chest plate, like, where the main armor is concentrated, there's, like, this emblem of heraldry I meant, that says SVJ on it. I meant who has the... Didn't we, ha we had, like, an amulet of the sun? Or like an emblem oh, of the, the sun. Oh, the emblem of Ravenkind. Uh, I think Dan I have it. <laughs> yeah, Dan. <laughs> yeah, Gedwin has that. All right. I don't know if that's like knowing. beneficial at all. Oh, it's amazing. Not, not it's very good. I, I, go I can't remember what it does. Again? Do I have it in my? I have it somewhere, right? It's There's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, I see it. Okay. Holy symbol of Ravenkind. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's a holy bam. Okay, there's only ten charges. What you doing, uh, uh, Jacob? As well. I'm gonna go up to the Empire Seven. He's being flanked, so I get two extra D6. Yes, and, and advantage on your attack. And rolls. advantage. How do I roll advantage? Uh. Oh yes. Go to your character sheet. Yes. Then go to settings, which is little cog, and then roll queries advantage toggle. Uh, I, I did something and it goofed everything up. Oh um. Gotta use that amulet. Let me see. Why is it? Oh, you're doing it. Mm-hmm. All right, you can do it. Okay. Wait, does this require attunement or no? Uh, right. no, it does not. Okay. Okay, so you should roll now with it with advantage. With advantage. I, I take my little dagger out. <laughs> I. No. That, that, that's what we call it now. Yeah. I guess. Cold skin. Little Diggler. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Alright, you hit! 16 pierces the vampire's armor. Yes. You slide it right between two chinks in the armor. Hey! Hey! Hey, hey that's okay. That we know what it, it, it's an... And, uh, it doesn't mean uh, that, it's okay. 16, no, how do I do damage? No, I just click uh, it again, click right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Cool. And then add 2d6 with your sneak attack. We know what it, it's an... It doesn't mean that, it's okay. How Oops. do you like them apple? Oh, it's pretty bad. So you stab him, when you pull the rapier back, there's no blood courting the blade, instead there's this thick film of dust. And you see the vampire spawn turns to you and goes, Ah, little boy, hopefully your bigger blood isn't as alcoholic as this one. This out, Amstel Kors' turn. So, Matt, you're grappled, so you can't move. Unless you give me a strength oh, check opposed by the vamp fizzle. Oh, Jesus Christ. But my strength is probably negative 15. Oh, it is. Alright. So if you wanted to do that, that would be an action, or you can still just take your turn, but you just can't move. Can't take a move action while you're grappled. Yeah, but I don't see how I could I don't see how I cast a spell while I'm grappled either. Uh, yeah, that's true. Alright, so give me, give me a strength check. Break free of this, this vamp fizzle. Oh, uh, yuck. Nope, that's a strength save. Strength check. Uh, what the hell's up? How do I get one of those? Uh, click the word strength, not like where your stats are, where, they, where the big negative one is. Oh, there, I see. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> oh, no! Alright, I'll give you advantage on the roll because Jorbus is flanking and helping you out. Also, he stabbed the vampire, so go ahead and do one more. Yeah, alright. Okay. So, you shove the vampire back as Jorbus does like a little hoo hoo, got you! And you break, <laughs> you break free. Um, you have a move action remaining and a bonus action. So, whatever you'd like to do. Um, uh, you can, uh, do you so wanna, can you... I cast a spell then? Or? 
Uh, you can cast, you can summon Bark and Bite as a bonus action. Ah. I don't um, know if Bark and Bite's gonna help me right now. Well, he uh, can heal you guys, you know, not, not too bad, that little Bark and Bite. But he can't heal me. He, he could heal your buddies. Uh, alright, then I might as well summon him. Okay, and... Then, then you can move I him. want to back up. Alright, so... Um, you focus your intention on summoning Bark and Bite. Um, you make come, you commune with your little buddy, little Bark and Bite, and as you focus, he appears whoosh, and goes, Oh, hey guys, long time no see. It feels like it's been forever. How you doing? How you doing? What's up, buddy? Better, uh, Bark and Bite. I've been better. Whoa, looks like you got a wicked hickey there, boss. Who's the name? Did they suck the neck sucking on there? Yeah, if only these vampire spawns were hotter. Would be okay. He, he turns and goes, Yo! Jiminy, Jiminy, they ugly! <laughs> Get a little closer, they smell too. No, no thanks. So these guys, they take the dash action to run up, get all up on our good friend, Gedwin, bringing up Iron Wolf Greybane. Uh, Gedwin, you notice these two cadavers lurch and with insanely horrifying speed. They appear beside you and they go, You smell like you fry him. <laughs> I look at them and go, <laughs> Oh, shucks, you noticed. <laughs> <laughs> they, they both exchange a glance and they just go, they hiss at you. Uh, Iron Wolf, you're up after that. Okay, sorry. I was gonna say, Flattery will get you nowhere. Also, guys, look, I photoshopped Bark and Bite. He's big. Yeah, he's big now. You can just see his face. Nice. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I can hear myself somewhere. Does it echo sometimes? No, I can't. I don't hear any echo. But it might be. I got a new headset. Taz, Taz, Taz. Hold on. Keep talking. Hello. Hey. Taz, hi. Hey. Taz, Taz. Okay. Um, I, I, I'm good right now. Well. The big. Oh, well, I hear. I, I hear. Yeah, right now. Yeah, I hear it too. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so I do hear that. It's not P. Could be the Matt. No, 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 it's, it's Brendan, because he's the only one that didn't echo. Hello? It's not that bad when he's talking. It's not that bad when you're talking, but it's it. Uh, sorry, I got a new, I got a new headset. It's, I think it might be worse than my old one, so I might get another new one. Uh, you should, um, um I can talk to you about it. audio turned on in, um, uh, Roll20 on top of it being turned on in. Oh, no, that's not, mine's, mine's turned off. Uh, I don't I'm gonna check my settings real quick. I want to receive nothing. No. Is, uh, it, is it like, is it super bad? Like, is it really distracting? Um, eh, I'll say like it's it's tolerable. It's a little distracting, but it's not like really good. Okay. Um. I just set mine to nothing and nothing in case that was causing a problem. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ah uh, la la, I gotta do some werewolf stuff. <clears throat> Cause these guys may be really mad. Definitely. Does that yeah. sound better? Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, we can one way to find out. Uh, how's this? I mean, uh, we'll, we'll just keep going and then... Let me remember how my character but, works. But after, after this, just uh, stay on. We'll, uh, we'll talk about that since. Anyway, go on. Okay, sure. Okay, I'm gonna go... Dee -da -dee -da -dee. I'm gonna I'm gonna go wolf mode. Um, okay. So as a so. bonus, you you summon bestial taint that runs through your bloodstream. My taint oh, is running, <laughs> running the taint. So, uh, much, so, so much taint. So yeah. Much. Hulk <laughs> mode. And I'm like grappled by both these guys and just like ah, I'm pissed. Um, I'm gonna imbue my weapon with fire. All right. So as you do that, actually, the vampires are are due to one of their vampiric weaknesses. They are actually afraid of fire, so they immediately cease to grapple. Good, Whoa. you little creeps. They go and stagger away from you as through a vile holy water. In your yeah, I'm just I'm just delighted. I'm like, yes, this is it. Um, so what is it? I take five damage from doing that. That can be healed, though. Oh yeah, yeah. Not a blood drain. Yep, I have. Don't I have my um, 
I have like a point max separate from that. It's been noted. Okay. Uh, just, just wanted to make sure. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. So, no what can I do? Blood maledicts? I want to do a blood maledict too. All right. Oh, oh uh, great! You just got these, I think, right? I did. I'm just sorry. Sorry, I wasn't ready. I was like trying to do some Twitch chat goofiness. Dude, no problem. I was totally unprepared. Uh, so I can do Curse of the Fallen Puppet or Amplify. Uh, I don't want to do Amplify just because I feel like... Oh, wait, wait. That's a separate thing. Blood Curse of the Marked. I can mark an enemy with 30 feet. Oh, right. So Crimson Right damage. Shit, what is Crimson Right? Uh, oh, your Crimson Right damage is a D6. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, is that the elemental damage? Yes. Okay, cool. So I'm going to mark... I'm going to use the Blood Curse of the Marked to mark the guy that's already poisoned with my blood. Alright. Uh, so to do double I'm gonna give him damage against him. It looks like a bullseye. Yep, I see. That's cool. Okay. Uh, wolves might add your half your proficiency bonus. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so i got to remember my AC is a little bit bumped. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so let me just roll an attack on this guy. Sure. Uh, excuse me, gonna do the two-handed strike. Do I just click on this again? Mm-hmm. Just a, a click. Quick little click. Oh, uh -huh. that hits. Okay. You bring the greatsword down onto this blood-maligned creature that's gagging and sputtering from the blood that, that ingested from you. Okay, so, so then I roll my damage. Damage. Shit. Oh, just click, click, click. Great sword slash two yep, it's been it's been a while. Damage Nine. slash pierce. So, but then I have to roll the so I roll two d six. Roll two d six. Additional to that. That's fire, so that's actually a bit extra. How's that? Roll r slash r slash r two d six. The space between r and the two d six. Yep. Bam. Six. All right. Fire so on him. You slash, and then there's a split second. But then the wound that is rapidly sealing up explodes with purple green fire. <laughs> the, creature, the creature shrieks in sheer agony as it staggers back from you. Yes. I just, I'm sneering and laughing. So these guys aren't grappling me anymore. Uh, uh, one is still grappling you, but this guy is not. Okay, oh, cool. No, yeah, yeah, yeah they, they both let go of you. I forgot to mention that. Okay. Um, can I, I want to, I guess I want to stick to this guy. Him. Yep, and that should be my turn. Uh, vampire spawns five and six go. They are going to go up to Gedwin. Oh shit! Both of them are gonna roll claw attacks at you because they only. Fuck, Gedwin! Yeah, you see, you see, you see, Gedwin's stout, manly form disappear in this throng of vampires. Oh. Um, <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's one claw attack at you. He's going to choose to not do damage. Is that to get you into a grapple? Don't let them throw your taint. This one bites you. Wait, do I get like a the strength check? I only get him to that. On, yeah, turn. on your on your turn. Okay, so. okay, so this vampire bites you and drains seven points of blood from you. And I lose the HP. Yeah. And after that, it's your turn. All so these my max are... HP is forty-two. Yes. Okay. So all these vampires surrounding you. Are just ah, one of them bites you in the neck and drinks deep from the vein that is Gedwin. Breathe uh, deep. Okay, so, so you don't break you don't break free of that. Uh no, I I, I can do uh I just can't move well I can't move regardless of being kinda of game thing. Right. Do you wanna do you wanna use your holy symbol? Well, I mean I, I I was going to see if I could do something with it, but am I allowed to in my current state? Um, well they're they are grappling you, they're like pinning your limbs down, so give me give me a <laughs> dexterity check to see if you can get the, the holy symbol into your palm and brandish it. Uh hold on. <laughs> now it does the the, the thing just says uh, present the symbol. Mm -hmm, but you don't have it in your on your hand. But but what? But can you define present? 
you pull it out from if you had it like in your free hand you can just show it to them yeah, yeah. but is um, that the so those are the that's your very explicit definition of percent yeah they have to be able to see it like, you have to brandish it towards okay them. oh but but do they have to be able to see it with me holding it um no because you like you'd be holding it anyway they don't like I feel like it's a supernatural thing too. Like yeah. it would, it wouldn't like if they were if they had their eyes closed, they wouldn't get resistance to it. It's just like a holy presence in their midst. Well, because because. Yeah. Anyway, All right, so have... with a ten, you know it's not hard. You probably kept it in your pocket. You reach down, um, grab grab the holy symbol over your behind. But I, but I gotta do a thing. I gotta do a thing. Okay, what are you gonna do? I kind I, of I, drunk gay flourish. Are you gonna do here? <laughs> <laughs> not to point fingers. I, um, okay. So, so I look around, uh, so one guy is grappling me, right? Not them collectively? One's grappling you, but one's also biting you in the neck. Jesus. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> this is intense. I don't oh, know. Vampires, I, dude. <laughs> I'm being triggered. They're all uh, rapey and shit. <laughs> that reminds me of the Key and Peele sexy vampires. I don't know if you... <laughs> <laughs> you know which one I'm talking about? No, I'll have to look that up though. <laughs> yeah, we can. <laughs> I'll show you after. Um, okay, uh, so one dude's holding me, one dude is biting me, the other two are just kind of standing there like jerking off, right? No, like they're menacing you. They're jerking. like, Arr, I'm gonna Take her, take her, take her, take her, take her. They're like, well, you just give, give us six more seconds and we're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. Longest sword. <laughs> mm. Hold on, we got a prep. Patient. Deep vamps. Right. So I look around like, uh, don't you gotta buy me a drink first or something? No, nothing. No, they don't say anything. Dude. Oh, they, oh. <laughs> too busy sucking blood. They're kind of oh, just yeah. drinking your blood. Oh, sorry. One just like, like, like shoves his tongue into the bite mark and just <laughs> wiggles it around. <laughs> Try to get a bit more open so you can get more blood out. Amazing. So, uh, this is fetish shit right here. Okay. <laughs> and I go, oh, wait. wait. <laughs> I'm like, are you? Hey, uh, don't you guys um, like uh, this thing? And then I just pull the thing out, just kind of like hold it in my hand. Ten minute arousal break. Hold on, yeah, I gotta go take care of something. I gotta process! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, that consumes one charge, so you have nine charges left on the holy symbol of Ravenkind. Okay. Is um, there a way to uh, indic like mark that, keep track of it, or no? Uh, you can just make a little note. Hold on, I'll add a. I'll do. I'll keep track of it actually. Can we? Can we maybe just make it onto the actual? Um. The item name. H the item. Yeah, maybe like <laughs> make it the item name. <laughs> yeah, I'm just. Gonna, I'm, as I said, I'm just gonna put. Oh, you want me to just put a nine next? To you? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Okay, there you go. Nine charges left. Um, all right, so they all get wisdom saving throws, DC 15, to ignore this effect. As you brandish it, you see almost like Gandalf casting a spell, like a big translucent pulsation of white light comes hmm. off. Yeah. Since they don't have a will saving throw modifier, this is 4d23. <laughs> all right, so two save. And the other two scream in terror. Yeah, but which, which two save? That's the. Well, I'm gonna mark the ones that did not save. Okay. This little sad mask on the ones that. Did not save. Sad mask. So the the two that are like fucking me right now are fine. They're just like they're frenzied right now, but the other two that were just standing around jerking off, they're just like, oh shit! <laughs> they, tuck their, they tuck their dicks away. And Frantically they zipping. Fuckers. <laughs> so you got a torch out. So this vampire spawn. Is like, ooh, I don't want to mess with that guy. So he's gonna take a dash action, move double, and then that ends his turn. So this vampire spawn's gonna try and mess up Jorbus Dickerson. Damn. Hmm. Wait, wait, but don't I get another action or no? No, uh, it's an action to use that pulsation effect. Yeah, but don't I get two actions? Uh, you use your bonus action to try and break free of the grapple, and you could move, but you can't move because there's four enemies around. But I thought you get two actions and. In general, and then they just no, can't you, be the same action. No, you get a move. You get a move and one generic action. Uh, I don't know if that's true, but I'll 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 let it slide. I'm gonna go check for now. Okay. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm gonna go check, but uh, I don't, I don't think that's how. It, I'll, I'll check. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. If it's wrong, I will happily take it back. Okay. 
Uh, Go back some gimmies. 22 versus Jorvis Dickerson. 14 versus <laughs> Jorvis Dickerson. Good night, Jorvis Dickerson. The Good night, sweet Jorby. All right, so, so one misses. Uh, yeah. And then he's gonna claw your face. Uh, be <laughs> on you. Ten points of damage. That's the permanent kind of shit. No, no, it's just normal claw. You can heal. Oh. Him. So he's like, idiot. like he. <laughs> you call him a fucking idiot as he rips skin off your face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so this I, vampire. I've almost been dead multiple times. This vampire is poisoned, so he can only take a move action. He's gonna move away from Iron Wolf, and Iron Wolf that provokes an attack of opportunity for you. Yes, please. Uh, another, another mighty whack of the blade. Wabush! Oh! Ooh, yeah. Get him right on wait, back. wait, is that a 19? Did I roll a 19? Yeah, that's, that's a crit. A crit. All right, so that's a crit. So, let's see. You do... What do crits do in 5e? This is the first time I've ever... Uh, you roll the damage dice twice. So since you are doing a d12, roll 2d12. Uh, okay, so I'll just click that twice. Oh, sure, that makes sense. Or is it... Uh, okay. Ooh! Ooh, max damage! Eee. So that's okay. 12. You, you were right. You were right. Oh, sweet. Yay! <laughs> so 17 plus 8, because I'm not going to get at the strength twice, because you only have the damage dice. Mm -hmm. um, so that is 25 points of damage. Get plus... Do plus, I... Oh, yeah, double do that I blood malediction, too, so 46. Oh, Jesus, you doubled that. Can I just do 46? Instead of two two d six rolls, oh, yeah, shaboom! Oh, hot, God. hot vamps. <laughs> All right, so the slash gets him, then the fire impacts into him, <laughs> and after a few moments, you notice that the, as he takes one step, his leg actually caves in on itself. Yeah. He slams into the coffin and becomes dust, <laughs> like an imprint. He's dead. I'm just kind of like I end that. Like a fragment of an action, just pointing at like the group of vampires surrounding Gedwin, and I just like roar. I, I wait. Go at a boy, boy. Yeah. Jorvis uh, Dickerson, you are up, sir. <laughs> I'm like looking Gedwin in the eye, doing like the point to my eyes, point to his eyes thing, like ah. You're like a baseball. Ah. <laughs> 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 what would you like to do, Jorvi? So. Iron Wolf, Murder Master. You lash out with Serpentine Grace. Yeah. Why? Do I get advantage on my next one? How's that work? Uh, you gotta use critical. I'll give you the critical, but you didn't have advantage. Okay, there you go. Okay, and then I, uh, I go. Re! Re! Alright, um, that's not a sneak attack because no one's flanking him. So. Yeah. Uh, it should be a D8 plus. Yep, 7 plus 6 for the crit. So that's 13 total. All right, you pierce that vampire once again. In the, I'll say you get him right in the jugular, and when you pull it out, more dust comes out of the wound. And he's like, <laughs> love it. <laughs> and after that, it's Amstel. All right, let's see here. Um, oh god. You know, I really, I feel bad because. What's the save that Gedwin would have to roll? Give me one second here. Da, da, da. Are you gonna drop a goose egg on him? Well, um, a little, oh my god, what's going on with my character? <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm just I'm just messing around a little bit. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, sorry, buddy. I didn't okay. know that it would mess with you. Chilly. I was trying to fix all the, the advantage problems. Right? No, it's fine. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. 60 feet is uh, 12 squares, right? Yes. Okay, well within range. Uh, ba 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 ba. Jerks. Miss me again. How's Kevin's constitution? It's got to be good with his drinking and whatnot. It's it's my highest stat. Oh, you should. You should be good. 
snow. <laughs> oh. oh my. <laughs> I am going to cast <clears throat> Cloud of Daggers. Basic or not Cloud of Daggers, I'm sorry. Shatter basically right on the spot that Gedwin is standing. Look out, Gedwin. <laughs> Constitution save. I, I'm sorry, Gedwin. Take one for the team. Alright. <laughs> I'm already taking two for the team. You don't think he's taking four. Yo, Epson, as you said, your shatter, all the vampires take maximum damage. Oh. They do not, none of them save. In fact, the natural one takes double damage. Uh, what do I... That's good. Uh, Might be worth it. So all four the <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Yes. So, Beauty. A beautiful save. As if sensing your intention to slay these vampires, form the protective orb around Gedwin. Did it. Nailed it. Wait, how do I turn off the event? And by the way, I was going to cast this. I only have two level three slots. So this was level three. So all of them take, what, 32 damage then? By the way. Nice. Hey, that's okay. That could be worse. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll another one for the... Yeah, okay, I think. Alright. Um, so, this guy takes double damage. So he takes 34. Ooh! The dust. <sighs> yes, I love it! The shatter spell seems to be conducted by his armor because the armor actually explodes with shrapnel like a grenade went on. Um, the vampire's torn to shreds. Man, I was really worried at the start of this combat. Yeah, they're not <coughs> That's okay. Um, scared me though. You scared me. So get when you only take uh, half of 17, 8, and then half. So you take four points of damage. Push up. There we go. That was worth it, Gedwin. Thank you. I. That bargain bite's like, oh, you want to give us some of that good berry ale? Ten out of ten. Wood I, shatter I, I again. Stand, like puff my chest out and give you a thumbs up. Bargain bite. Give him a drink. That guy can use one. All right. Give me a second. <laughs> he gets all. He's not. He can't get all the way there. But uh, Alright, Vampire Spawn 2 is terrified of Gedwin. Moves away, throwing an attack opportunity from Gedwin. Come on, Gedwin. Uh, okay. Right. Dab him in the dick, even if he's backing up. Alright, get my, uh. Okay. Here they are. Okay. Uh. So I'm holding the symbol, so I guess it's a one handed Warhammer. Yeah. Uh, Only one hand with Warhammer below. Um. <laughs> 17 hits? Four! Damn! You can give him a whack on the Twitch. Wait, wait, wait. Do I get the reroll twos? I think you can reroll ones and twos. Okay, okay. Let me find your tree. Let me, yeah, let me double check. Uh, more free. No. Right, here it is. Fighting is great weapon fighting. When you roll one or two damage die. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright, so click more hammer. We roll damage for me. Seven, there nice. There. Alright, so you get him on the tush. Oh! A, of his bomb. a little Heine bonker? Oh wait, no, 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 sorry, no, I do the four because I have to be moving with two hands. Oh, okay. Thanks for correcting me. Yeah. Uh, Iron Wolf, you're up. So you're, you're in a blood rage. You just fucking wreck that guy. What do you do? Just like a metal tornado. So Vampire Spawn 5 is like fully intact, right? Yeah, he's, he's, he's a little damaged from the Shatter spell, but other than that, he's not afraid of the Holy Symbol of Raven kind. He's just, he's just holding on to Gedlin trying That's to okay. kill him. I gotta get I gotta get Gedwin out of the spine, so I'm gonna I'm gonna swoop in. All right, you have advantage on your attack. Do I get to, so I click advantage on the sheet? All right, yeah, I'm gonna mark him too, so I've used all of my marks or my uh, maledicts, and yeah, just gonna chop chop him. Remember, you also get two attacks because you're extra attack. Oh, okay, I haven't been doing that yet. Man, I'm gonna shred this guy to pieces. All right, attack number one. Shaboom. Uh, let me just do. Oh yeah, twenty definitely hits. Get him right to the back. Attack number two misses, I guess. Uh, no. Or no, oh the advantage. Yeah. Two attacks with advantage. All right, shit. Okay, so here's before the blood maledict damage, and 
after. What a what a monster! What a monster I'd be. Damn, son. All right, so. Just like sawing his spine in half. I'm so glad I chose fire as like a damage option. <laughs> um, it's perfect. Yeah. Oh, we can. S he's still alive. Yeah, he's not dead yet. Oh, piss. Um, he hits get one twice with two blood drains. Damn, dude. Ah, get one hanging like, there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna saw your fucking head off, buddy. <laughs> Stings your lips. Bark and bite, do something! I'm coming, you gotta give me some time! Oh, 
okay. Okay, so let's see, I'll cast magic web. No. No, never mind. Wait, that's a bonus action. I can. So I can do magic weapon and then I can do uh another I, wait, is it one bonus action per turn or as many as I want? Uh one bonus action. One bonus. Okay, then yes, I can. Okay, so I'll just use divine favor and then I'm going to give me a D4 and then I'm going to do sorry it's been a while. I have a bunch of like shit. Um uh, no problem, man. We're in no rush, not taking that long. Okay, so wait, so if I use um so if I cast Divine Favor, which is a bonus uh, action that gives me the D4, I, also, I cannot also, when you use an attack action, uh, yeah, okay, I can't, because this is also, you, you're, you make one, oh, okay, no, then I won't do Divine Favor, I'm going to do the fucking uh, Warp Priest bonus action with an attack. Uh, actually, no, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attack, the, sorry, okay, I got it, I got it, I'm going to cast Divine Favor as I attack the guy behind. Okay, that gives me a D4 radiant damage. Uh, and I, um, can I do a dexterity saving throw? Or not saving throw, dexterity check. I want to throw, how, oh wait, how, how tall is this here? Um, it's not, it's a pretty cramped basement. It's probably like 10 to 11 feet off the ground. Uh, can you describe to me exactly what the symbol looks like? Is it exactly as the picture? Just, uh, pretty much exactly the picture. It's okay, like, so it's, it's like the size yeah. of your palm, and it glows faintly with a form of holy energy. Okay, so, it's, but it's like a amulet. So. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, would something like that be able to be used as a No. No. It's definitely not weighted properly for that, or shaped properly. If you want to throw it away, though, you can. Well, no, because I know you can throw like a car, like a playing card. But okay. That's not. No. For the sake of experience, you have to give me 30 seconds to make a decision. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. Fine. I wanted to do something cool, but I won't. Um, uh, I just, I just honest, I do, I don't want to. Like, no, that's fine. Forever. I can. Uh, I can, it has a chain, right? I'm just gonna, yeah. uh, hang it on my belt. Okay. Thing. You hitch so it on your I, belt. So that I can do my yeah. two hand. Alright! Okay, so, and I do my <coughs> favor, so it hits for, uh, well, I do another damage. The so Vorhammer. Damage. Is that right? Hold on, 6 plus 2 plus 4. Okay, so that's just the, that plus a d4. Uh, roll d4, plus 1 radiant damage. I don't Ooh, know if they double. take like, that's double. So, that's a 2. Uh, then, uh, just the guy, just the guy behind me. Still alive or uh, he's still standing, but he is bleeding heavily. Or not bleeding, but he's very haggard looking. So okay. like his skin's cracking and there's this dust pouring out of his wounds. Okay, and then I'm gonna also uh, use my action surge to regain an action, and I wanna hit the other dude. Okay. Uh, hold on, yeah, and on top of your regular action <laughs> and a possible bonus action. Okay, so. Uh, I will take the, so I'm gonna hit the other dude with a same thing. Okay, that's one hit. And then, so that's a five, plus, plus a four, four, so plus three, so that's eleven. Okay. Uh, then as my bonus action, I'm gonna use my, um, uh, War Priest. Which allows me to make another attack action as a bonus action. Oosh. Which is also this. Four. Also, to the guy in front of me, so that's a 9 plus another 4, uh, which is another 4. So that, that the last two were to the guy in front of me. Okay, there you go. Okay. So that's, that's, and I'm like, oh, my, that's like so, most of my energy at this point. Yeah, like you're drained, you're feeling really haggard, but you still <clears> manage to not only throw their grip off, but grasping your weapon, you. Surge, surge with strength and vigor, and slam the guy in the back once, and become like a torpor of energy. You dash twice with him. 
see, see if the if the ceiling was higher, I want I wanted to throw the thing up in the air and do all of that before it comes down. Oh, okay. Well, but, but, but but it, it, I can't do that in 10 feet. <laughs> Damn these low ceilings. <laughs> this vampire <laughs> rushes towards Amstel, hissing, and claws. Ah! Uh, does claw you? Doesn't do damage. Pulls into that hug again, and he crits. Oh snap! Oh no. Uh, oh, you right. just <clears throat> get you right. There's a spurt of blood, a fountain, and you see it just like, like the leech draining this blood from you. Just, as he lets go of you, he goes. <coughs> you know, the alcohol. Yes. Yeah. Oh yes. Uh, he does save though. He's not affected by it. Um, so Vampire Seven is also going to try and get Dorvis Dickerson. This hug as Dorvis for. <laughs> uh, yeah, he be- he gets you too. Damn. Uh, so you get your max HP goes down by five, and his goes up by five. Damn, be strong, Jobo. Jorby, you're up. You and M so are up. Like last time, you killed Rump. <laughs> what is that? That misses. <laughs> you stab out, but the vampire just pops the blade away with the strength derived from your own blood. How ironic. No, but you can do a cunt you can do a cunning action to dash away if you want to burn or retreat. Yeah, dash away, dash away, dash away all. Yeah, dude, be safe. Uh, so yeah, you can move any six squares in any direction. Except through the vampire. I, I will be over here. <laughs> Damn, still love my <laughs> So, ah! you said he didn't manage to grapple me, he just bit me. Uh, no, he did manage to grapple me. He got ah. 22 on his claw, but he didn't do damage. He chose not to do damage me. Yeah, the other two are gone. The other two are eradicated. Yeah. Obliterated. I feel like I shouldn't dig again when I get though. Once was enough. Yeah, right there. Well, right there. Is that going to hit all three of them? Yeah, man. It's a 20 foot radius. Uh, no, I thought I shot on radius. Oh, so you uh, yeah, you no, Shatter's only 10, 10 foot ra- oh, uh, 10 10 radius. Foot Although I guess that's 10 feet in any direction, so yeah. we would hit all three of them anyway, like doing it right in the middle. Yep. We would hit all of them. All right. Well, good luck, me. Do it. Um, one saves, go to fifth. Okay. Uh, I'll say uh, Vampire 7 saves. Okay, so that was my other level 3 spell slot, so or 48. Boom! Vampire spawns six, looks, and then the shattered impact of its armor, destroying it in that grenade like fashion, tearing it to shreds. Uh, same thing happens to Vampire 2, torn to shreds. Uh, Vampire 7 takes 10 damage to the torn to shreds, but you see dust and blood start to run through. You realize that the blood is the one that you drained from Jorbis. Give it back! <laughs> Jorbis, go drink that! Go, 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 go,
Dorfus, get back over there. Num 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 num. Why can I only see Matt's hit point bar? Or is that something else? Does everybody else see everybody else's? No, I only no. see mine from here. Actually, weirdly enough. Oh, here we go. I figured out why. Give me a little get ones. Yep. Yeah, his is underneath, like, vampire feet, but... Uh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I can and now you should be able to see... <laughs> Peace out, Jorbus. <laughs> and now you should be able to see... Yeah, that's me. That's a me. I got all the HPs. <laughs> Wait, Jorvis has so much hit points. Yeah, he only got hit once. I thought, I, like, the way you described the hit, I thought it was like a mortal wound. You're like, you ripped your face off. <laughs> oh, no, he just clawed him across the face. Oh, yeah, but Jorvis has, like, an extra face or something. It's like the double eyelids. Like, one comes off. He's like a snake. Jacob, like, Jorvis Jacob, Jorvis just, like, pulls off, like, a skin mask. He's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Whenever, whenever he blinks, like a sheath of skin just <laughs> like ups and downs over his face. <laughs> Typical gnomes. <laughs> Typical gnomes. Okay, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna chop in on um, this vampire. Yeah. So for the first attack, do you want me to roll it with disadvantage, like you're saying? Yes, but you have advantage once. Okay. So I'll do a normal and then an advantage against him. All right. So here's the normie. Chop. And the advantage. And a chop. Just spinning. 14 does miss them, so you oh well. Them, and then as you go in for the second blow, uh, you notice that the vampire spawn is either dead or dodges out of the way. So go dead, the dead or dodges, okay. Yeah. Chop. And. and blood malediction? Yep. R. D. Oh, it's D6, right? Uh, 2D6. 2D6. A burning 2d6. And it is the former. The vampire spawn eradicates into a cloud of ash. Hooray! The dead ones drain blood, splattering onto the ground with a. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna book it. I oh. go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I use that back. <laughs> I'm just gonna book it down to here to engage with the spawn seven. I bite my tongue and spit the blood in his face. I say, drink that! A sad snake. <laughs> Has Bark and Bite been moving at all? Uh, Bark and Bite could be commanded because Matt used his bonus. Ah, I see, I see. Uh, Can you just like saunter over there and lick some sap off his branches. <laughs> like, oh, that's a little, little I can only regain uh, <laughs> I can only regain uh, yes. be up to my up back. To yeah. okay. So you finish a long rest. Okay, yeah, I just kinda like uh, I kinda use second wind, but not not really, just cause I don't really have much uh, I basically, um, the second wind is, like, what, uh, my fighter level. Two. Sorry, two. Okay. So I heal, quote, unquote, 10 HP, but I only really heal four. Uh, so I, uh, just kind of, like, I try to regain some of my energy, but I kind of... You try to muster, like, you try and draw strength from the alcohol point pouring through your guts. Uh, there's, no, there's not in there, so I just can't. Yeah, there's, <laughs> not, there's no strength to hold back. I mean, there I, is, but it's not a, as much as you can. I leave my hammer down on the ground, and I leave up against it as I kind of slouch it like, ah, you guys can't handle it. That's my turn. Uh. And then brings up Vampire Spawn 3, who rushes towards Jorvis. And since he's, he's like, he's like, you little bastard, but dodge out of the way the claw, then he gets you on the second, on the backhand, dealing with seven points of damage, gets you right in the gut, rips out some skin. Vampire seven, 
He looks at Iron Wolf and then says, Why do you fight for these? Keep. Why do I fight? Why do I fight for these? What? Hello? Hey. Oh yeah, no, you're right. The shackles disappeared for some reason. That's okay. I was just trying to look up the effect. Um, I fight for them. I fight for them because they're my allies. This is my pack. If you stand you against say, us, you stand against my blood. Uh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> Jorvis, Jorvis howls. The, the vampire looks at you and says, "If you assist us, we will do great meeting. Maybe even change the story." Well, then if that's if that's how it will be, then that's how it will be. But I'm gonna do it until I'm dead. Hey. Sorry, I went quiet. No, it's okay. I can hear you. I just have like laundry going, so that's like in my ear. Oh, okay. So yeah, I heard you. Chunka, 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 chunka. Clash it once, Iron Wolf. Clash it twice. Slash your face. Uh, what's my AC? My AC is 17 while I'm werewolfed, so. So that both hit. Both hit. Uh, does 13 points of damage to you. And then afterwards, he says. Is that just v regular damage, or does that lower my max uh, yeah, HP? No, they, they don't. They're not gonna. They, they do uh, the two claws. Oh, okay. So I just take 13 damage. I'll take it. Uh, Jorvis Dickerson, you're up. This vampire goes, You have great, great, great leader. Yes, this will You should not die. Eee! 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 <laughs> Get him right in the shoulder and he's like, I'm pulling you. Uh, you like, do you want to do anything else? Or a uh, bonus move action? How much did I disengage? Uh, once around. Oh, so I uh, will stand here between me. Once around means once every turn. Oh, I disengage. <laughs> you <Yeah>. disengage? <clears throat> Hey man, what's up? I Vampires suck. <laughs> I hide behind him. Uh, I see what you did there. After that, it's the still. Thank you, Matt. Alright. <laughs> uh, I will help <coughs> <Matt coughs> the one that is... I think it's three. Sorry, I'm zoomed out a little far. The one that's standing independent, not so far from me. That's three, yeah. Three, yeah. Uh, Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blorst. Target. Uh, what does that mean? I roll for. Uh, d20 plus your proficiency plus your dexterity. Oh god, what the hell is that? Where is that here? It's gotta be here uh, somewhere, right? Uh, go to core. Yep. Dexterity is plus two and your proficiency is plus three, so d20 plus five. Where is that proficiency plus three? Uh, let me check. Right but no belief beneath your inspiration. On the on the oh, left side? Oh, it's three. I see. And it's dexterity, hmm. um, which is a plus two. Um no, I'm just hold on, sorry. I read somewhere that what the hell is it? What my what actually Oh, okay ah, I'm sorry. I can just do it from this front page. I always forget that I, I have the attack right here. That I can just... That. Oof, yeah, you get him. Nice. Uh, you, you twiddle your thumbs and your fingers, and then you unleash a burst with a sound like a freshly cracked beer in the Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Bass with suds into this vampire's armor. Go ahead and click Eldritch Blast and roll damage for you. Uh, the words Eldritch Blast. Uh, oh, that's weird, because it shows me, like, there's a column with damage that I can click. But, Just click, uh, the, click the word and it'll pop up like that. Yeah, no, I did. There, there it is. That's the. Oh, nice. All right. And since that's magic, it is not resistant, so it takes full damage from that. Nice. Uh, after that. No, it should be Eldritch Blast plus four because the damage is one d plus ten. One d ten plus three. So three. Yeah. Yeah. So, did you click the words Eldritch Blast when I, uh, in the, yeah, in, in the column that. in the roll column? In the roll column. Yeah, you see where it's posting the results? 
If you click the words, oh, the, yeah, I'm if you click sorry. The, like in the, the chat. Five. Yeah, I see. Okay, I'm gonna fine. give you the eight though that I roll, not the five. It's Christmas beer. Uh, so Iron Wolf Greybane, it's your turn. This vampire <laughs> that tried to treat with you. Obviously, that didn't work. Oh, man, I'm not, I'm not in for treats today. This puppy doesn't <laughs> like treats. I'm not feeling it. He likes oh, chopping. Man, that works even better because you're a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> he likes chopping, chopping vamps. This uh, dog ain't for treats today, kid. Yeah. Two chops for you. One chop. Two chop. Both hit. That's a nice. big. That's a big chop. One slam right to the chest. The other one right to the neck. Uh. That big old twenty-six. Yeah, that nineteen. All right, cool. Two rolls. Shaboom. Shablopple. Whoa, that's <laughs> big damage. Kerblops. Boston Pepper Incorporated. Nice. Doing it don't always. Forget, don't forget two blood maledictions, my man. 2d6. Uh, yes. Just the two from the two attacks, not 4d6. Because yep, he's not marked. marked. That is true. Excellent. Hot blood. Very good, very good. <clears throat> All right, so Vampire Spawn 7, if he hadn't drained so much blood from Gedwin, he'd be a pile of ash at this moment, but... You see this blood is like rushing through his wounds, healing him, but still, yeah. as you rip the blade away from his last attack, he's barely standing. He's like, Astron has given us the benefit of eternal life. He will bring us back stronger. Maybe. I credit I credit Gedwin with that strength. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to give you inspiration for that. <laughs> good bands, good bands. Speaking of bands. You hear some uh, very, very faint uh, snoring coming from Gedwin at this point, where he's like... Arkham Bike goes over and is like, Hey, hey Gedwin, Gedwin, wake up, man! What are you doing? Gedwin, wake up! <laughs> oh no, that's my turn, I'm just sleeping. Alright, Vampire Spawn 3 goes, runs over to Iron Wolf and says, You shall not harm my friend. Too late for that! <laughs> They do have advantage though, but still the first claw misses. Iron Wolf's like, that's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the one claw does slash into your armor though. That's okay. You take nine points of damage. Oh, and then man. Vampire Spawn 7 is going to do his two claws at you as well with advantage because he's flying. Ooch. Ooh, not one. So that, that, oh wait, never mind. He had advantage. So 17. 18 so far. Uh, 18 and a 17. Uh, both hit, 17 hits on the nose. Alright. It's 2d6 plus 8. So these guys aren't, like, cowed at all by the fiery blade? That was only on, like, reveal? Uh, only on reveal because they weren't, a, they weren't, like, aware gotcha. of it. Ooh, they, like, 16. take a couple turns to make peace with the, the flame. Right, so 16 damage from this guy? Yeah. Man, I'm chipping, it's whittling me down. They're getting you, they're, they're hacking away through your armor, getting the, the little creases in the joints. They're getting um, I thought it's Jorbus Dickerson's turn. So I'm uh, down at 12 so HP. Your reap here? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I charge right into vampire number seven. Whoa, right. like a like a fast well, with boy. With advantage because he's being flanked, my butt. You got yeah. advantage because he's being flanked, my butt. Yes, yeah. much better. Sneak attack damage on that too. Hey, Brendan, you might. I just linked something in chat. You might like it since you're a Long Island person. Let me take a look. <laughs> All right. So Jorvis, just as this guy is reeling in for another blow against your friend, you re and leap, <laughs> leap like a flying squirrel and pierce the rapier right through the back of his neck. Um, the rapier goes hilt deep and stops barely three inches away from Iron Wolf's left eye. Nice. Um, then as you rip it out, the vampire head pulls off and dissolves into ash at your feet. You land on your feet. What do you do? You still have a move and a cunning action left. Uh, that's a dash, disengage, or a hide. Uh, I will do the hide action. All right, give me a stealth roll, check. Roll a sneaky attack. Give me a stealth check, bubba. Bubba look. Uh, stealth is plus two. Even though it's not on my sheet. So I have a thing I got, so it's a 20. Look at that stealth. Uh, your stealth is a plus seven, actually, my man. Yeah, but oh, you see the bottom? Add extra two to all your... Uh, Slate of hand, hand and deception My bizzle. You're right. My bizzle. Okay. No bizzle. No baby. No big deal, baby. All right. So, with 18 stealth, you quickly do a five foot step and you hide behind Iron Wolf. <laughs> hide behind his left leg. And you just look up at him. You go, shh. 
It's a good thing I like sewed in that custom boot pocket that's Jorba's size. So you can just like hide in my large boot. Why is your one leg so much bigger than the other? Quiet! Eldritch Blast, Vampire Spawn, three. Oh, I think it's the only one left. We killed the rest of them. Yeah, all yeah, of them have been reduced to dust. Oh, that's Do it be before he kills me. Oh, that is a miss. So you... Uh, once again, a sound is heard as you crack open another Eldritch Blast. But unfortunately, that vampire dodges the way. However, Iron Wolf, you step into the dodging at vampire and you take a turn after that. Cool, yeah. Uh, so we're back to normal, no advantage here. Yeah, just gonna do the do the mighty chop, chop, and one hit. A chop. Miss. All right, do your t uh, ooh, seventeen. Don't forget your blood malediction. I will never forget my blood malediction. Roll d six, or is it two? It's two. No, one d six. Mm -hmm. One d six. All right. Two damage. Uh. Wait, how does he get a plus five on his attack roll? Uh, strength. Strength and being a werewolf. Wait, how much wear strength do you have? Uh, uh 20. 20. Uh, okay. Wow. Yeah, uh, that's... Alright, after that, you get one. strong like bear. I gotta... Strong, like... I'm trying to think. I gotta, I gotta, like, step aside. Do, like, a... Do, like, a five foot or something just to... I'm, like, low enough that I need to move around a little bit. Yeah, be a little more mobile. Yeah. Alright, get one. You still sleep, he sleeps. <clears throat> Uh, has anyone tried to wake me up? I guess Barking Mike did, right? Barking Mike's been like, wake up, baby! Is, 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 do you think he is sufficiently loud enough to you wake know, up? Barking Mike's like kind of giving you gentle prods with his branches and he's like, you okay? But after seeing you snore, he's like, oh, you're alright, that's fine. Oh, so he just leaves me alone. Okay, then, then I'm sleeping. <laughs> alright. So Vampire Spawn 3 goes, werewolf. I sense death and corruption in thine veins. If I die, I shall take you with me to spread my master's blessing into your mind. Let's go. But misses on the first claw and on the second claw, so he goes, shoom, shoom. Your armor takes both hits for you and you grab. Yep. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just eyeing him. Come up again? With my best yeah. eye. I. <clears throat> okay, let's do something stupid. <laughs> I... Can I do an acrobatics check over. Yeah, I'll give you an acrobatic as a bonus action, you, so you don't have a cunning action, I'll leave you an acrobatic check. Alright, let's, let's do it to it. Alright, you go <laughs> I go for an aerial somersault death blade dance. Alright, so Jeez. you, with, with, with Iron Wolf's well, massive well, hulking well, frame, you grab him and climb him like a mountain, then jump off his shoulders, spinning around, slashing at the vampire as you do. Oh shit, that There is, you go. That, Chip chop. And then I get to roll my 2d6. Don't forget, oh yeah, there you go, baby. Oh yeah. So you get him right through the cranium. And he goes, <laughs> ah, as you land behind him and you go, oh, my cranium. <laughs> Epsil Cores is up after that. Oh god. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, that's, I have one attack and I'm doing it. <laughs> that was damn it. Oh, that misses. Iron Wolf, you're up. All right, back to the old advantage. I like that word. Is this the guy that sucked Boom. all my blood out? Yeah. Oh, motherfucker. All right. Got a second back out of him. Got a first, yeah. All right, one hit. Got a hit on one. One hit. You get him, your blade bites into his shoulder, and he goes, ah. <laughs> Ooh, that max damage on the burning. The flames, the flames spread through his wounds. Hot chop. Ash, and he looks you right in the eyes, Iron Wolf, and he says, you pawn of Strahd. Pardon me. Before he like finishes speaking, can I just like grab him by the jaw? Yeah, just... you grab him by his rapidly dislocating, I mean, dis depopulating jaw. And just look him in the eye and tell him, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, combat's over. Yay. So, you see, Barkin Bite is quickly, it's like poking Gen when he's like, guys, Gen, what's not waking up? I think he might be dead, but he's bleeding, I think. <laughs> Is he dead? That's his death rattle, guys. Guys, he's dying. That's his gurgle. The death gurgle. <laughs> he's aid. Oh, dear sweet Gedwin Angel, sing me divine rest. <laughs> Mark and Bite cries a single amber ale tear into your mouth. How did he Wait, die? I, 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 
I, my tolerance is a little. It's the most. It's the most pure, delicious ale ever cried. From the like, wait, is that is, is that like a jizz? Do you just no, jizz? it's it's sadness. It's oh, not, it's a tear. Not... Here. Okay. I don't know. So, some people are into that. Um, sure. Just um, like a drop, a drop of amber. Amber, amber like. <laughs> I mean, if I, 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 I could wake up a little bit. Oh, oh he's alive, gentlemen! He's alive. Just wait, Ambrosia. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a dry throat going on. <laughs> Where can I lowers his eye, his tear sockets to you and starts crying into your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> his his tear oh, his tear ducts weird. protrude like a so snail. You guys, are, you guys are injured. You guys you're bloody. You're beaten, but you have triumphed over a plot from the nefarious Count Strad von Zarovich mm -hmm. to invade the peaceful town of Velaki. Um, as you search the room, everyone, give me an investigation check with advantage. Yeah, we got to find that. Saint's bones. Well, if you turn the bandage on, I'm good at this now. I hit the bandage button. There you go, you learning. You learning, baby. I feel like that wasn't... Doin? I feel like it was... Jorgus. I didn't find it before. Me and you are in the of each other. You're just like, we walk around, we're like, clock, clock, like, bonking heads against each other. You guys are walking around. Doin? It's like, it's like Scooby-Doo, so you're both like, oh, zoinks! Nothing's in this uh, one, Scoob! Yeah. Oh, wait, look, uh, Sorry, Scoob! So, I, I, that girl doesn't oh, like Dungeons and Dragons or Bojack Horse. Dude, you're on a roll. So this girl's like, she's wondering why she's fat on Tinder and nobody likes her. She has no <laughs> fucking personality. I'm, I'm gonna send her the Trump gif of, of wrong, and then I'm gonna call it a night. Investigation. Boom! Okay. I investigated. He, yes. he, he doesn't need me to investigate. Alright, so... Amcel, you you start searching through this 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 burial 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 basement, and as you do, quickly notice that interred with one of these vampizzles, there is a <laughs> small parchment rolled up into a scroll tube. Uh, you open it up, crack it open, and out comes a piece of parchment with the following note written on it. It says, "My loyal minions." Heed the words of thine master. The town of Laki seeks to depose me through festivities and joyful corruptions. I will have none of this anymore. Your king has awakened. Infiltrate this city and bring it low. Take from the crypt of the ancient holy relic, St. Andrew, bones interred within. Smash them to dust, and the armies of the night shall make the Laki did they smash it to dust? Uh, you keep... Well, Amstel, after you finish that, you notice that it looks like the bones have been laid in one of this thing, and most of them are cracked. Um, Shit. and they do show severe signs of damage to them. Um, so if you can give me an arcana check, because you do see there's something. Like, there's like a spotlessness to these bones. They don't have any, like, signs of age or rot or damage, aside from the cracks that splinter through them. Maybe they can get mended by, like, the cleric. Yeah, you can give me an arcana check to figure out what you can do. Uh, how is my arcana? Better than mine. It Actually, is, mine's is, not bad. Uh, my arcana is okay-ish. Here. Oh! Oh, oh I rolled that nice. with the band. I probably shouldn't have, sorry. That's alright. Uh, let me, let me turn that off. Alright, no, I, I just hit, I just hit normal. I'm Sweet. a jackass. No, 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 did the vampires leave any uh, remains behind? Just dust? Um, dust, but as as you all investigate the coffins, you find the following spoils of battle. Spoils! Um, so spoils. there are four art objects. You find a portrait of a greasy-haired man with a hmm? stern look to the portrait's viewpoint. Um, he has four giant... Labeled the Italian. <laughs> Gino, says, Gino Vasquezi. It says beneath it, his lord and his lord and, and um, honor, 
illustrious Vargas Val Valakovich. <laughs> um, it is about a three by ten portrait, so it's very, very tall, but not that wide. Yeah. Um, and he's seated in a long steeple chair. I <laughs> like one of these vampires is sleeping with it. <laughs> He was just like cuddled up against like, oh, Vargas, tell me more. Yeah. Tell me, tell me of the life you live. <laughs> so, Whisper sweet um, nothings. You, you're not sure how much it's worth, but you quickly do know that Vargas Vlakovich is the burgomaster of this town, so he might pay a pretty penny to get that back. Yeah. Um, the third, the second art object you find is an ancient ivory statue of a vampire. Um, it has little rubies for pinprick vein, uh, fangs coming out the top of its mouth. Um, that one inlaid with gold and you realize that one's probably worth like 100 to 200 gold maybe more for the right buyer um the last two art objects are actually some small sapphire carved gloves like they're gloves with sapphire studded on the knuckles hmm. um you actually also with the 24 am still you detect that there is magic on those gloves so the sapphire studded gloves you said there was a vamp a ruby vampire idol too uh, it's like an ivory statue, but it has two little ruby fangs to ivory. create like a bloodstained effect. Okay. Ivory. And ruby. then a uh, pair of sapphire, sapphire studded gloves that have little magic on them. Cool. These are, I, I wink at Jorbus. I say, hey, these, these look nice on you. Wink. Wink. All right. <laughs> Maybe. So I don't know what they, I don't even know what they do. The, do you put them on? Uh. Yeah, because I'm stupid, and clearly the vampire gloves are not cursed. And All right. Uh, so I'm, I just think you, I just think you'd look I just think you'd look charming with the uh, like oh, some oh, some green gloves, <laughs> some sapphire gloves. I just thought you'd look nice in those. <laughs> All right, so you put them on, and even though they are actually made for about an adult <laughs> human. You quickly feel them like snug to your hand so they fit perfectly. Okay. And the sapphires glow from blue to a glowing bright blue. Nice. You actually feel your hands get much quicker and more <laughs> deft. And you have acquired gloves of missile snaring. Missile snaring? <laughs> <laughs> so I linked what they can do. Um, the, the, the gloves automatically tell you what they can do because they are benevolent magic items. Oh, to, to, what nice gloves. Yes, Thanks. and then you've also acquired one sack of holy bones. There you go. Um, are the gloves going to be on my, my character sheet? Yes, you can add that to your character sheet. Under what? Uh, let's see, you go to the core, right down here. Oh, uh, man. You can add, add an other resource. Where's the core? Oh, yeah, yeah. Bam. Oh, wait. Actually, there's a better way to do this. Hold on. I'm going to snare some missiles, y'all. Yes. Yes. Equipment plus loves missile snaring. Can I do... I just want to do... I don't know if I would do, like, an insight check uh, or um, or if this would be, like, a survival thing to know, like... Is there is there any connection between, like, the vampire dust remains and them being resurrected or... Is that... Um. You well. All right. So you know what? You can give me an a sat, uh, an arcana check as you go. Like you start taking inventory of these ash clouds that were once yeah. vampire. So I'm just trying to figure out. Ah. Um. I'll give you advantage because you're you can take your time on this. Like you're not pressed for time. Okay. So I'll roll one more time. Nah. <laughs> all right. Uh, um. You quickly theorize that Strahd probably resurrected the corpses. That's why they were so brittle compared to normal vampires. Gotcha. Anyway, without without knowing specifically what the process is, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a couple minutes just to like kick all the dust clods and like mix them up and like spit in them and stuff and just like if they if they have any like any manner of connection to like what they left behind, I'm just gonna make sure that they're all right. So as you're kicking up this dust cloud, I'd like everyone not resting peacefully. Once everyone get once dance back, everyone roll perception. Um, Jacob, also I add on your character sheet, yeah. right in your uh, features and traits. Yeah, I see at the bottom. Hey. Sweet. Got it. All right. And, and I am going to use the boys room real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay. Sounds good. What I perceive onto these dusties. Um, and George Orbis too. <laughs> nice. Dude, we're, we're, we're 
identical we're cousins. We're best friends. <laughs> we walk alike, we talk alike. Forms a very angle, angry looking face. Um, it has hollow, blood red eyes. A steepled widow's peak of black, slick back hair. Pale mm. skin. And a big, beaming glare. At you frowning. He goes, he goes, oh, Michelle. I'm just, I'm just nodding, and I'm still like kicking and spitting in the dust, and like stirring it up with my toe, like. Mm -hmm. Yep, a little bit. I think whenever he does like the super low tones. Every other word broke up, Brendan. So. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna buy. It's okay. I think, I think it's just the Strahd yeah, voice. As you're kicking like the dust and spitting on it, it's like. Uh, uh, signals. Uh, 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 it sounded scary. French fries. Uh, um, also. Okay, I'm so, after you're done kicking away everything, the last thing you guys find stuffed in the gloves drawer, but you actually feel like a little piece of paper in the gloves. Pull it out, and it says right here. It's a receipt of purchase on it. It says right here. <laughs> a receipt of purchase. purchase a warranty. Right, <laughs> oh, by the way, the girl responded, and she likes to play guitar, Dan. So I'm going to see if you play electric, or no, electric guitar, or if I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mine, is it minus 20 vampire puppets? Uh, no, there's a dash to show. It's like, oh, it's like purchase price, vampire. bought 20 of them. Um, and then at the bottom it says this. Vampire puppets? <laughs> oh, Blinsky. We gotta go talk to Blinsky. Signed Oleg Blinsky. Uh, <laughs> and there's an exclamation point after the end of the signal. <laughs> Good old Ogle Blinsky. I, I, I think we should drag the dead guy uh, and bring to Blinsky and show him oh. what he did. Can I share uh, my brain fart moment with you guys? <laughs> I, uh, I went to make a protein shake, so I poured the milk into like my cup thing, the one that has the little ball to mix it for you and shit. <laughs> And then instead of taking the uh, protein uh, tub to pour that in, I start pouring cereal in there. <laughs> that's, that's good. Protein cereal. I didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't pour that much cereal, <laughs> so it wasn't that hard to eat. But I did eat it. <laughs> Just mash it up. Right. Just commit. Okay, sorry. <laughs> How dare you? You're not sure why, guy was buying so many toys, but he was paying quite a pretty penny for them. Wait, so this is the grave maker who was, uh... Yes. Oh, oh, Bl oh, these are the... Oh, these are not... These are things that were bought from Blinsky. From the grave maker, not huh. from the vampire. Grave are they, like... Purchase. Can we, oh, like, okay. rummage around upstairs? Are they, like, in his Definitely. personal effects? Yeah. Um, what's the march? Who's going upstairs first? Uh, I'll, I'll go. Oh, it All doesn't right. matter. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna... While we're doing this, I should, ought to spend, like, a... A couple hit dice to heal up. Oh, you guys want to take a short rest, real quick? Let's let's get up. Uh, yeah. All right. That's the shorty. Um. All right. So you guys take twenty to thirty minutes to rest up. Um. After that, after about fifteen minutes. So go ahead, and do all your hit dice. You want to heal. Yep. Um. Remember, if you had your blood drain, you can't go above your new max HP until do you we... take a long rest. I forget. Do oh, we so roll? Oh, get that back. Hit you dice until you take a long rest, not a short rest. Do we roll to heal, or is it just like, like? Uh, you roll to heal. You roll hit your hit die. So for you, it's a d10. Okay, so I'm gonna do. Hit die. Mhm. Mm and it's also on your character sheet, so whenever you roll one, you can subtract the number, and it'll keep track of you. Oh, you can just hit hit die. Mhm. Mm okay. Yeah. Right, right, right. That is smart. And... Oh hey, okay. Max HP. I, I'm technically at max HP, so. Also, oh I'm kind of like, I'm still kind of on the floor. I don't know if anyone cares. Bark and Bite just says, well, during the short rest, all of you notice that Gedwin's not getting up. Yeah, I'm kind of like, beat, dude. I, I uh, stick my hands in his pockets. Is there any good loot? <laughs> any good uh, loot? Gedwin doesn't believe in gold, so you just find like some empty alcohol bottles and like a couple of copper. Yeah. I start smashing the bottles. I'm a all right, Gedwin, you wake up 
like you get enraged because Jorvis is breaking some of your precious holy alcohol. Well, does he? No, they're empty. Well, no, they're, they're empty. I don't. Yeah. Uh, they're done. Yeah, like, I, I, I'm crying like oh sweet memories. <laughs> memories. Sorry. Sorry for the delay. I'm back. All alone it's okay. In the <laughs> everybody's, lo everybody's looting Gedwin. Just, um, just watch that link I yeah. sent. I walk over to Gedwin and I start like smacking him on the face. I'm like, come on, buddy. Gotta go. Gotta go. It's go time. Your holiness. I'm gonna, I'm it's go time. I'm from now on. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, everybody, after the short rest, you actually hear, you hear a sound like... <laughs> Everyone give me a perception check. Somebody trotting around upstairs. Someone's stomping around. You see little dust particles knock the leaf floorboards. Can I give you a stealth check instead? Damn, I'm so perceptive. Uh, uh, uh. You can give me a stealth check to sneak upstairs and not get seen, sure. Oh, I did a stealth check and then there's perception right after it. Oh, Jorby. Jor Jorby's Jorbis becomes Jorbis becomes the wind. <laughs> sneaks up the stairs. Like a quiet wind. Like a ghost too. Tiny little legs. Tiny little legs. <laughs> Barely, upstairs. barely miss it. Creak open the door. You see, you see a familiar face standing there with four dudes, all of them dressed as guards, and you hear the deep rumbling voice of Ezek Strozny. Fuck. Bane of Gedwin. He says, I know they're here somewhere. Wachter wants them. Search this gravedigger's house. Find the four. He's the guy that pummeled uh, Gedwin and locked him in stockades. Damn it. Oh. I have a plan. I'm going to yell re and run <laughs> <laughs> so what you hear is Ezek basically saying, Mr. Ezek Strauss, and he says, Madam Walker says they came here. Find them. First man to bring them to me gets 20 extra gold on their pay. Damn it, we should have just left. Wait, wait, guys. I have a Torbus is a little man child. I I sneak to the door. And I start. Are you? Oh wait, are you? Are you singing like through the first floor? Cause they're there. Like they would, they would be looking. Oh, but you said I went upstairs. all sneaky, like. You like like basically the way. I'm sorry. You snuck up the stairs, the basement, and like looked in the trap door that leads to it. But you didn't get on the first floor yet. Mm. If you want that, you can give me another stealth check to try and get up there stealthily. I, I was. Uh, I, okay. Um. I was laboring under the impression. Let's. But I had a different idea. But let's, okay. If I if I pass a stealth check, can I get out the door? Nope. Yes, I would say if you get high enough, you can get out the door. Okay. Should I gamble it, guys? Fuck you um, guys. Uh, this is solo D and D. Save yourself, Jorbis. Right. So Jorbis, you watch, <laughs> and then the guards they go, they nod, and Ezek turns his back, and all of them start searching through like you know some things. They're pocketing some pieces of silver, talk, pocketing some precious valuables. You know, they obviously do not respect the grave digger at all. Um, all the better because he's dead. So. Take seizing advantage, you run out the front door and don't even shut behind you. Big barely oh, wait. is down. Perfect. And while I'm running out the front door, I, I wait until I'm like a, a fair distance. I yell, wait for me, guys. And I run off into the forest. You leave the town? Uh, well, is he like yelling loud enough so no, that they'll. I, I, yeah, I, I'm yelling, uh, yeah. wait for me, guys, so they think you guys are ahead of me. All right. Oh, I'll do deception, so, right? Is that deception? Yes, you need deception. That's good. And I get plus two for that shit. All right. Mm. So you cut That's a pretty your... good. Yeah. You cup your hands around your mouth and go, Wait for me, guys! And then you three in the basement, you hear Ezek growl. He goes, One of them, check. He makes a gesture, and three of the guards go, And run out, and they go, Halt! And they chase after Jorba Sigerson's voice. My arms um, are failing, and I'm running. All right. Um, so let's see here. We'll briefly go to Velaki. Yeah. Um, Jacob, you can get out of the village but that would take like 10 to 15 minutes because you guys are in n4 right mm -hmm. here okay um so you'd have to go through the north that's the closest one do you still want to run out of the town or do you want to go like hide in a house or something i'm gonna is there any familiar things over here that we had before uh you guys are familiar with n2 because that's the blue water in and i'm running you... towards the north yeah you can you can run anywhere i'm just saying if you wanted to leave the closest way to be would be the north Where's the where's the temple like the cleric's temple that we have to right get these here, bones back N5. to? Man, all the way back there. Um, yeah, because that's we gotta wind up back there. Uh, they don't have sewers. That's gross. Well, they're <laughs> they're like they're like pre medieval. They don't have they don't have indoor plumbing. Either. Just uh yeah, just houses. street street gutter poop shoots. Yeah, just just street poop. Um, you know, ain't just, no thing but a chicken wing. <laughs> just just surf on a turd to N five. We'll meet ya. I'm gonna roll D four for the cardinal direction. 
Sure. You want to do one is north, two is east, three is south? No. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was such a petty no. I was just like, no. Yeah. I was like, I wasn't sure. I was like, I'm like, that's not what I want. And I'm like, that is exactly what I want. Spoken right. like a true Jorvis. Um, so, looks like east is two. So, alright, so you're here. Do you want to, like, draw me a path? Do you, can you draw me a path? Where you want to go? Alright. Um. Like Don't make it look like a penis, please. <laughs> just gonna, you no. could. Just gonna cut you off right there. Um, <laughs> right now, there's a drone pilot right. who's offended, I, I flying go over town. I around town. the trees. I stay towards the outside of the city. Okay. Okay. Here's the. We're gonna muppet. Sack. We're gonna muppet, guys. We're gonna draw like little, little <laughs> dotted, <laughs> dotted line. Right. All right. So at this point, go, you come uh, to a crossroads. You, you're getting oh, right shit. here. Okay. Oh so my. Halfway through this. Zigzag. Say, like right when you get here into the thick of the city, um, you notice that there are a bunch of people skulking around, and one of them goes, oh, "You going to St. Andrews tonight?" And then this lady goes, "I don't know. I heard that the bones were stolen." And then another man goes, "You know, that's just a bunch of lies, baby." Puts an arm around her, pulls her in close. He says, "Don't worry. Krozek wants to be safe." And gives her a big kiss on the lips. And she goes, oh, but I don't want to be safe. And he goes, oh, they start kissing. And then the first guy goes, that's my wife. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you do, Jordan? <laughs> call him a cuck and run. <laughs> I do, you call him a cuck. All right, uh, the me, old cuck and run. I mean, if he looks like a cuck and he acts like a cuck. Then he you know, if he be... walks like a cuck, it <laughs> quacks like a cuck. Yeah. Man. All right, so Jorvis, as you're running past these guys, you go, cuck. And the first guy goes, how did you know? <laughs> and then, <laughs> so you run down the streets, Shit. and you quickly notice that there are wanted posters all over, all of them featuring a rough sketch of Gedwin. Damn. So wanted, wanted by Vargas Vlakovic for, uh, for removing himself from stockades and avoiding the crown justice, or the, the justice of the Burgomaster. Um, with okay. that information, you make your way to St. Andrew's Church. Okay, but I go I go behind the church, okay? Yeah. And then I use my disguise kit. Okay. Uh, to disguise myself as a, a baby, a, a lost baby boy. <laughs> a little altar boy? <laughs> a, a little lost altar boy from a different town. Who I, do you have like a little butt flap dense. for ease of access? A lost no? baby boy. <laughs> 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 Just Jorvis walking around sucking his thumb. Uh, deception. Deception. <laughs> you can add, you, I'll give you advantage because you use the disguise. Oh, hell yeah. Give me, give me, give me another. There, there you, you go. go. There you, go. Baby boy. You, you become... <laughs> you, 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 you briefly forget that you were Jorvis Dickerson. Instead, you become Oleg. No, you become Bobo, yeah. the happy altar boy. <laughs> um, you almost become the mask. But then, I'm, you, I'm then you remember... Lost. Yes. <laughs> So what are you three guys doing? You still hear two sets of foot feet tromping around upstairs. There's one guard uh, still up here. I mean, I'm like basically really weak, so yeah. I can't really do much. Do we... I, I used the last bit of energy to like, with the axe and surge and the beating people up. That, that's all I got. Mm -hmm. all, that, you know. all right, so it looks like Amstel and Iron Wolf are going to be the ones who have to decide how to get out this time. Yeah. Oh uh, God! If we haven't had a short rest, uh, how would we sneak you out did, here? You did, you we did have a short rest. You could oh, heal. we did have a short you rest. Yeah, I think you were pissing. You might have been pee peeing. Uh, it's, I believe it. Okay. So wait. So am I back to? What am I? How am I <coughs> healing since right. I lost all those hit points temporarily? Um, like, how's this work? Up to you your new only, minimum. Maximum. Up to your new minimum. Yeah. But I, I don't. I mean, my hit points are my minimum. That's how that um, was working. Well, you actually got clawed once, so I'll say that your maximum instead of being 25, it's 32. So you can heal 7 points. You can do a D8. You can do one of your uh, hit dice to get those 7 points back if you want. Mm -hmm. Oh, alright. I should do that. Um, but if we had a short rest, that's fine, because now I have my spell slots back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're all a right. warlock. Nice, uh, alright. I, I got my hit points back. Yeah. Take a take a nice mug of frothy ale from Bark and Bite. You get all your spell slots back. You can immune with the great, old, the great cold one. All right, let's there you go. So yeah, there's there's two guys upstairs. Are we gonna are we gonna f fight or do we want to hide? Are we like because we do? Are we wait? Are we hoping Jorvis is gonna bring back some assistance? I'm not really sure what. The do they only, I, I, I took hold on, hold on. Do they only know the four of us? Didn't I hear them talking about just the four of us? But Jorvis Dickerson snuck out. I, I, I well, more I importantly, 
if they if they think there's only four of us, why don't we send Bark and Bite up there to see what's what? Oh, I don't want to do that. I might get hurt. <laughs> I don't think they'd hurt you. Besides, I could just uh uh, uh dissolve you before you get seriously well, injured. I you know I am still. You never stood me wrong before. You send me up there, I'll do it. Got no problem with that. So you, I don't you know, guys. What do we think? Uh, I'm trying to think. So. Wait. So you're trying to just like send him up, and and just, just. I mean, is he like send him up? Not like well, uh, what, what, what is he doing? Is just gonna yeah, look around? That's why we coordinate. No, no, no. I think if we're gonna send him up there, we should send him up there and have him tell him a story about it. he's the only one in the basement. He just came up and uh, was empty, and you know what's going on with you guys. Maybe we should all take a hike. He got locked down there when the grave digger, you know, went out of town or whatever. And uh, then how does he come out if he got locked there? Uh, maybe we should uh, hide and have him, like, bang on the door. Well, yeah, you guys do know that they're searching, so maybe, like, wait, have, uh, Bark and Bite wait until they start opening that, and then say, oh, thank God, you saved me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, no, I like this plan. All right, okay. we should go hide. So let's, all right, yeah. Uh, we can get, I'm, I mean, there's, there's, yeah, there's nothing, it. like, yeah, yeah I was gonna put Ged, put Gedwin in a coffin, tuck <laughs> into yeah, some coffins. Totally dead anyway. Yeah. How'd you get huh? so hurt? I didn't. I didn't know you got that hurt. He got vampire have, gang banged. I know. I have ten HP max. My max HP is ten. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm I level did, I did one. I did some level too. But uh, yeah. Nah, I healed that already. All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up Gedwin like a child and put him in one of the coffins and just drape <laughs> some drape some burial rags over him. Uh, all right. Give me a give me a deception check with advantage because you can take your time doing. It. Okay. Yeah, uh, meanwhile, Am, what is uh, Am still up to? Uh, I mean, we're, we're hiding, right? There you go. Hope they don't come right. downstairs. All right. So you just kind of, you put like a shawl over him. Yep. <laughs> then you just clamber into a coffin for yourself. Yep. I think that's, um, that's enough. So yeah, I, will, I will do the same. I will hide in a coffin. All right. Am still, do you, uh, you want to fact check my deception? To just cover for us. <laughs> like, oh, thank God you saved does me. Does anyone want great. to, does anyone want a coffin cuddle? Yeah, I'll, I'll hop in there with you. Um, <laughs> the coffin creaks can under I, the combined weight of two full-grown men. Let me do and this. It snaps and shatters with a loud ear-splitting. I've got I've got a bear trap, so I'm gonna set. There's there's like a ladder leading down into the cellar. Yeah, uh, it's like it's like a staircase. It's okay. Like a wooden crickety staircase. I'm gonna set the bear trap at the foot of the staircase, so if anybody right. does come down here that doesn't bark and bite, they might step in it. Um, Bargain Bite wisely avoids the bear trap. However, that second. still happens. I have to... Oh. Where's the bear trap? Survival to set, so I have to... Can I do survival with advantage? Yeah. It was all occurring before you climbed in there. Yeah. No? Alright. Beat uh, 10? Yeah, it's, it's DC 10. You, no problem. Okay, there you go. Set the bear trap with... And then you test it. It's perfectly primed and ready. Um, you clamber in with Gedwin. I put like a. Smashes. Wait, I put like a rag test, over it. How does he test the bear trap? Does he put his foot on it? Uh, you just you just basically. I take out my bear. bear. You just see if it's tight. Yeah. If there's, okay. if there's a. And it's toy. Tension. Tension is the proper term. It's tense. All right. So then you clamber in with Gedwin. There's a brief moment of cuddling. You know. Gedwin's got a really soft, silky beard, and then you hear a. <laughs> sound as the coffin collapses, and you hear. On um, the second floor, the guard goes, oh, Miss, Mr. Strozzi! He goes, you go check it out, you fool! And he goes, right away, sir! <laughs> uh, Bark and Bite climbs up the stairs and goes, ah, oh, fuck this! And runs down and hides behind a coffin. No, Bark and Bite! <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you little bastard. <laughs> so the guard comes down, and he's going to do a perception and notice the, the trap, but he doesn't ha Oh, yeah, he doesn't notice it. <laughs> right, so he steps. Uh, you can go ahead and roll the damage for that. I don't know how much damage it does. Uh, it's a D10. All right. Oh yeah. Piercing damage. But I've I've got some ser I've got some strong words for bark and bite after this. <laughs> there, ten damage to the guard. Nice. Uh, he goes down. Snicked. Like, Silently. Ah! Silent ah! kill. Ah! And then he falls and he's like clambering at his legs, screaming in pain. <laughs> um. Nothing down here. <laughs> What the fuck's going on down here? Who's got the Who's got the bones? Did we give them? Did Jorbus take them? Who took the bones? I 
did not take the bones. No, I mean. Who put their cookie? Anybody take yeah. the bones? Who's got the bones? Uh, I'm just gonna say because we didn't really. We didn't really formulate a plan, but there would have been time to talk about the stuff. It might have yeah. been a good idea to have Jorbus take the bones to the, to the place say, of, right. of bone taking. I'll say you guys are smart enough to do that. Yeah, I, I love bones. I, Jorbus I said, is. I said yeah. I, got, I already got a Harambi. Jorbus. Yeah, I was gonna, Jorbus already has bones. Pee wee little retcon. Jorbus, you take the bones and you you do the right thing. Yes, I did. that was me. I stole my idea. Always the right thing. That's Jorbus. All right, Jurban. Alright, right, guys, so you hear this guard screaming in pain. Uh, what do you do? Um. <laughs> Put him right here. This is what the guard looks like. <laughs> just, just without a leg. Ah! Ah! No, he's, his, like, leg is caught in the trap. Yeah. He's pretty fucked up. And so, like, and Isaac is coming downstairs. Yeah. You hear him. Yeah. He goes, what are you screaming like, baby, for? And he's, he punches the guy in the face who goes unconscious. Then I guess. He's like ruffling around and freezes his leg and drags him and throws him into a coffin and slams him. Yeah. I guess just wait. Chill for a minute. Alright. Uh, you notice Ezek is looking around and he's cursing himself. He's like, God damn, Walker didn't tell me how to find them. <laughs> Starts looking through the coffins. Right, I'm gonna, I'm at least gonna like, ready, kinda like ready in action, so if he like comes out, I'm gonna come out swinging. So, he looks around. Perception. Oh yeah, he, he walks, he, as he's walking, he can't see, but you can hear like, you know, his footfalls, and they're echoing, and he's, um, as he walks, he turns his head slightly and notices the one broken coffin, and then smirks, and with his demonic hand, summons a fireball. And says it flying towards the broken coffin. All right. Um, Gedwin and Ironwolf, the coffin catches fire, as if it has been soaked in oil, and you, the temperature quickly becomes unbearable. What do you guys do? I'm gonna bust uh, out. <laughs> There's right. no choice. Bust yeah, out and yeah, like uh, roll right. Gedwin to the side, like get him out of the flames. All right. So you kick the coffin door open, shove Gedwin out, and then sit up. And he's like, b lets out a rough bark of laughter and says. <laughs> Looks like this corpse isn't so dead then, is it? <laughs> oh, you're so clever. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I knew you escaped. I, I How bowed. you do that? <laughs> Who let you out? What person heads me to next? Uh, I bowed to him very weakly and I say, back where I hail from, they call me Getweeny. Gedwini. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be confused with Linguini. <laughs> he puffs his... Isaac puffs his chest out and says, Here, you're not so great. I showed you your ass last night. I, I bowed to him again and say, I thank you for honoring your, your promise. Because he... he, 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 he longer now. And he procures well, another fireball. Oh, he says you won't be thanking me after this, and launches another fireball at you. All right, how many? I mean, how many? How many like rounds is this guy gonna get before I would just, we just well, start? If you, I said if you guys want to attack him, roll initiative. But... Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready before the oh, the sure. next fireball. Then roll initiative. I'll, I'll recant the fireball. Oh, um. Yeah, I'm not just gonna sit there and let this guy fling fireballs so, at us. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He only oh, blew up in their coffin, right? Yes, you're com you're Can still safe. Can I pop out of mine and do an, an extra attack on him right now? Yes, so I'll give you a surprise round. I am totally popping out and trying to witch bolt this guy. All right, go for it. You pop out. You have advantage because he's not aware of you, so go ahead. All right, advantage and what am I rolling for witch bolt? I am rolling my normal, uh, witch ring it, uh, uh, Ooh. Attack plus four. So if I click Eldritch Blast, this should work for a hit on him. Because it's the same roll, right? Yep. So. Alright. Um, he is not aware, but even though the Witch Bolt careens wildly off his, his demonic left arm as if he deflected it. Um, so with that, he turns and goes, Three rats. I count. Where is your fourth? 
Where is he hiding? You surrender now. Wait, I thought he knew that the other one ran away. No, no. Oh, right. Yep. So yeah, he says that because he's dumb. Um, but yeah, so three of you guys versus okay, one. Okay, now I need to roll initiative. Da, da, yep. da, 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 All right, everybody, four. let's roll initiative. Boom. Oh, god damn it. Uh, All right, I'm so cores. Oh, good, nice. I can blow my entire witch bolt load on the first shot here. <laughs> All right, so you guys act first. Uh, Amcel, you're up again. Uh, I'm doing you're the same up. thing, and without advantage this time, I suppose. Uh, uh, I'll give you advantage, because you got a natural 20 for your initiative check. Same for you, Dan. Alright, here goes. I thought it was a bonus Nothing. action. Uh, uh, please tell me 17 hits him. 17 does hit him, and Dan, to answer that question, I will let you do either advantage on your next roll, or a bonus action. Another bonus action, the elf too. <laughs> Sweet. Um, the Elgin Blast blasts right into him, but this is a Witch Bolt, so it's slightly different. It is Witch Bolt. Yeah, it's, it's sustained damage. Uh, yeah, that's the other persistent. thing I wanted to ask. Okay, so clearly the initial damage is the 3d12 because it's mm -hmm. a third level spell. My question is, does the automatic damage every turn also, is it 3d12? Or I think it goes down to d12. I think, I think it's 1d12, but I could be wrong. Let me check. Yeah, from what I remember, the first turn is the one that you can pump up, and then oh, after oh, that it's just sustained. Initial damage increases by 1d12. Okay. Initial, yeah. So yes, it's just 1d12 every turn. Okay. Lightning, though. Yes. That's exciting. You can use your... Yeah, so you can just keep zapping them. So 1d12, I'll let you keep the 12, so he takes 12 points of damage. Uh, no, 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 no. The, the initial oh, attack is absolutely 3d12. It's F yes. at a higher level. After. I see. I see. My, my he mistake. takes 1d12. Right, because you rested since you're a warlock, you have higher... You got your spell slots back. Alright, so the witch bolt careens into him. Zip zap. <sighs> growls angrily. Um, get when it's your turn after that. Hello? Uh, oh, sorry. I accidentally muted my mic. Uh, I nope. mm. Okay. Um, let's see. Also, I'm just going to put you right here because Iron Wolf pushed you out of the coffin. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, okay, whatever I was doing, I was, I, I was trying to stand in front of Gedwin. So if I could, so can I, I stand so here? Like yeah. Okay. So yeah, how's, how's the, uh, is the guy like? Does he hate all of us? Does he particularly hate me? Uh, you like... know he's 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 a sadist and he's a monster essentially. So he probably hates all of you equally, but the intensity of his hatred is is pretty impressive. <clears throat> um, hmm. Uh, let's see. Um, so I'm pretty fuckerinoed if I walk up to him because he's gonna one shot me. Can you do, do you have any ranged stuff you can do? Like, uh, none that I have prepared. Some cool buffs and debuffs. Um, alright. Cool yeah, crossbow. I'll, I, um, no, I look around and I'm like, uh, oh, wait, shit, let me see. What's the level two spell I had prepared? Uh,. I don't think I can. Uh, calm emotions is a waste of time, right? <laughs> uh, actually, this is this thing. It, it probably is a waste of time, but Ezek actually doesn't have a soul, so emotion compulsions don't work on him. <laughs> there you go. So, so, so it is a waste of time. Yeah. Okay. So that's really the one I believe I had prepared. So then I'll just uh, look around and I'll say. Uh, I'll, I'll, look, I'll, I'll put my hand onto Iron Wolf's shoulder and I say, as much as I should partake, I think I, I need to sit this one out a bit. But as I touch him, uh, he starts to glow a bit, hmm. and he gets a um, plus two bonus to armor class. Oh, oh nice. nice. Uh, so that's your armor class is 19 then? Uh, 18. If I go werewolf, it'll be 19. Oh, right, because you de-werewolfed. Yeah, that is All right. much appreciated, but I'll go werewolf again. Oh, wait, and then I had, uh, shit, did I have that one? Fuck. Beautiful. Let me double check. Oh, crap, I forgot what I had prepared. Oh, no, I don't think I had blessed prepared. Mmm, that would have been good. I had blessed prepared. Okay, never mind. Okay, um. Also, Dan, since you didn't use advantage, I'll give you that extra bonus. The, another bonus action as well. Yeah, I got I got nothing that can really uh, 
Uh, yeah, no, I guess that's that's all. <laughs> like, uh, I you just said. Huh? Oh, you're out of spell slots. No, I I have spell slots. I just uh, you I want to do have... divine favor? You have that bonus D4 action? Uh, the, not really, because it's not gonna do anything for me. Oh, all right. <laughs> Because, I mean, I'm not going to... It's a bonus action anyway. I could do it at any point, but it's a... Um, well, it's yeah, just... but then you might free up a bonus action for next round. No, so you don't have to do it again. But it's your choice. Uh, yeah, so. I, I... Yeah, no, I'm good. All right. Do you want to move after that or no? Uh, No, I got Iron Wolf next to me. That's cool. Right. I, I trust my dude. Two, three, five, six. Yeah. Double metal axe swing on Gedwin. I wouldn't trust me against that. <laughs> uh, 23. Uh, uh, yeah, 16. That's... Uh, doesn't that mean I die? No, I didn't roll damage yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I, okay, sorry. Did okay. both did both hit? I mean. Uh, I, uh, well, it's wait. If my armor class is 16, does the 16 hit or no? No. Okay, so then only one hit. Sweet. All right. Nice. So he swings at you, it bites into your skin. Oh, uh, wait, that's a six, so it's 14 damage. Oof. So you, uh, go, you go to zero. Okay. Um, uh, well, I go negative four. Oh, no, four. you stay at zero. Cause oh, you stay at zero and five. You stay at zero, then you just get death saves. Okay. Um, and if I, I will... take... Okay. It's yeah. your turn. All right. I mean, there's nothing I can do for Gedwin right now. So... Uh, oh! As I paid, I said, Iron Wolf! That use, iron, that, that use the fork! <laughs> that, that, that haunting Iron Wolf! The single, single, a single tear. Gedwin, call the bark invite. As, as Gedwin blood splatters onto Isaac's face, he looks to you, Iron Wolf, he says, No. Too cool. What'd you like to do? Oh, you cut out again. But oh, I'm assuming it was, says, like, really threatening and... Yeah, nasty. after he cuts Gedwin down, he turns to you. He says, one down, two to go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, werewolf mode. I forget how many rounds I have left, but it's like a billion. Um, duh. Let me see. Because I, I can do that twice per day, and then I have to, like, break it up into chunks, right? Uh-huh. And you can break it up to minutes. You have ten minutes total. Right. So I think I spent less than a minute last time so i have like nine ish minutes nine remaining. minutes for this combat okay so my temporary ac is 19 19 and i can't forget i forgot during the vampire fight but i take um half damage versus piercing and slashing oh right because uh, you have a uh, you have uh, resistance to that now yeah while well, this is going so i'm gonna go uh i'm trying to think did it look like so when when he took the electricity damage did it look like he resisted that at all no that looked very effective against him. okay like so i'll i'll imbue my 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 body with uh or my my weapon with electricity damage again so i take another oh. five i take five damage i think it's five right yep it's five because it's equal to your level okay yeah so i'm down to 50. all right um i'm gonna start chopping here comes the windmill all right. Uh, Captain up that great sword. You swing twice with both hands. Shoom. One. One hit. Shoom. Thirteen. Second hits. Both hit. Oh really? Yeah. He doesn't. He he's not wearing armor. He's just like a he's like a big tough village bully. He's not like big village forward. bully. I like the big village bully thing. All right. Well. <laughs> uh, so the first hit slams like horizontally across both shoulders, and when you rip it out. You slam down into the left shoulder and he staggers if you're trying to hack off his demonic left arm. Right, and there's the lightning damage. The electricity damage. Nice. A sixer. Uh, technically, he doesn't get the plus two bonus armor anymore because it's concentration. <laughs> oh. That's okay. So I'm down to, I'm saying I'm at uh, 17 then. Noted. Uh, right. It's 21 from the, and then did you do uh, your blood your blood right damage? 2d6? Uh, yeah, that was the, the six that I just rolled in there. Oh, I didn't even see that. Right, nice. That's okay. Uh, after that, it's Amstel Cores. You're up. I'm uh, rolling, rolling one d12 damage here. It's, Which bolt? Uh, Which bolt? Uh, oh, Which I bolt? also want to call Bark and Bite over to help uh, Gedwin some. Yo, I'm BB. Coming. I'm coming. Yo, BB. Hey, BB. Why do I keep typing S instead of D? Yo. Right. Hey, eight. So, 
as the blood pours from Isaac Strozny, Amstel, you you make a fist motion. You clench your hands and your fingers into a fist, and electricity surges all along his body, dealing additional. Yee. Who will pay for that witch? Uh, Gedwin. Death oh, saving. I should have marked him. Piss. Uh, D20? Uh-huh. Uh, ten or higher, you, you save. Ten or, uh, nine or less, you fail. Big save, big save. Nice. Yes! One success. One success. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I got really concerned there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, are you like, okay? He staggers forward from the heft and the intensity of your blow, Iron Wolf, and then boom, swings around with his great axe um, once and twice. Three times a lady. 17. That's uh, a miss. Um, 25, though. That's a hit. That's a hit. Right. And this is slashing damage, I'm guessing? Uh, it is, so half it. So seven points total. Cool. I'll take it. Uh, I'll happily take that. All right. Um, I gotta mark him. I gotta mark him this turn. He then has a bonus action. He a bony. His, yeah, as a bony, his left arm twitches and then surges upward, um, like the muscles bulge out mm. and it becomes like this big, almost like a tumor on his body. It looks like it's actually harming him to do this. Piss. But his armor gets. His arm just gets massive. Uh, after that, it's Iron Wolf's turn. All right, uh, Markham. He's uh, he does he takes double damage against my Blood Fury, or no, my um, my my lightning stuff. Give him the skull and crossbow. Thank you. All right, uh, all right, Chip Chop, snicked, the windmill coming at him. Double great sword, Chop. All right. So as his reaction, he actually is going to try and catch the blade. Man. Uh, he catches the blade, so you Ooh. do not do damage with this one, but then he shoves you back, and you get one more attack on there. Okay. I almost followed this guy with two other dudes hitting me. <laughs> you can do it. Chop, 18. That one hits, too. So all right. He, undeterred by the shoving back, you lunge forward and pierce him right through the flank. Ooh, all right. So the first, no damage from the first roll, but this one, I can damage him? Yeah. Okay. Uh, try. A 7, and then <laughs> R2D6 for the lightning, electricity... Seven. Nice. Seven and seven. Lucky sevens. I'm just, All like, right. biting my tongue and spitting blood at him. Ah, he growls. Uh, Amstel, you're up, bud. Ah, uh, da, da, da. I should be able to just... Oh, yeah, there we go. Yes! <laughs> yes! He in agony as you see his flesh takes on, like, an Emperor Palpatine appearance. Yes! Uh, <laughs> uh, so, Amstel, do you want to direct Bark and Bite to give Gedwin some of that good berry Oh, uh, yes, please, Gedwin. Uh, Bark and Bite, help Gedwin out. All right, Gedwin, here comes some of that good berry ale. <laughs> uh, you gained five HP, Gedwin, so you are conscious. Do not have to do death saving throws. Speaking of which, oh, it's yeah. your turn. Just oh, in time. I'm at 50% HP, guys. Do it. Yeah. He goes, uh, that's the good stuff right there. You drink it down, baby. Okay, so I, <laughs> I get up very, very weakly, and I... I, I cough at first. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I, I pet bark and bite with without saying in any words. I just pet he's him on his, his on his beaming. He's like, "Oh, you do care about me." I <laughs> I give him a very stern and intense look of approval, and I nod. He he I, looks at you and he's like flabbergasted because aside from Amstel, he's never he never thought you considered him as a friend. But as he looks at you, he knows he knows that bond of friendship is there now. So the, this Aww. guy's really fucked up right now. Uh, he's he's pretty fucked up, but he's still he's still like hefting and hawing. He looks like he can still fight pretty good. I uh, I look at him. Uh, you hopefully... should stay down, boy. I I look at him and say, "Oh, I, I'm sure I'm going down soon enough." <laughs> <laughs> but till then, it's not so nice being outnumbered, now is it? That's my proficiency bonus. So I wanna, I wanna do, um, the the same thing I did before, which is do the swing. Uh, so that, that hits. That hits. Sweet. Uh, the the, the uh, sweet. Nice. Uh, wait, wait. The, then the, uh, do the radiant. 
thing as my bonus action. Uh, roll. I like it. I like it. Uh, so <sighs> that then I do. I get my action search back on a short rest, I believe. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm gonna use the action surge. Uh, again, additional action. Yep. Uh, short rest. Okay, cool. Um, so try again. Does that hit? Oh wait, no, 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 wait, wait! Don't say it! Don't say it! Don't say it! Don't say it! I use uh, uh, my channel divinity for plus ten. I, I, can, I can do that as long as you don't tell me if it hits or not. Okay, yeah, twenty. I like it's a good catch. Nice catch. That no, was no, really no, no, no. Funny because I was about to say no. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, you can make this choice after you see the roll, but before the DM says when the attack is <laughs> Nice job. <laughs> God, Good on you, mate. Good on you. <laughs> okay. Uh, so five. I can't reroll that, but I still get the four. Um, and so that's nine. And I'm gonna use my other um, uh, war priest thingy. Uh, let's see. I only have one more, uh, but that's okay. So I'm gonna do another attack. Uh, that one definitely does hit with an eight. Plus another All right. Okay. So 12 plus 9 plus 15. Back from the gates of death. Right. So, so you stand up, and as he's trying to, like, taunt you to go back down, you just look at him, you, you say what you said before, and then you boom, 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 three hits. <laughs> all to the same spot. He coughs up blood and almost goes to one. Um, then as you end your turn, he goes, Ugh, uh, and Super Saiyan. Engage action, so he runs. What? And then, yeah. Then he uses move action to move again. Iron Wolf, you're up. Chase that bitch. Um, hang on a second. Chase him, Dad. Chase that boy. One, two, three, four. I can get it. I can get him. I got him. All right. You you give chase throwing aside a table in this basement of the, the Grave Maker, and you chase after Isaac Strozny, who's cowardly running away once the tables have turned on. I'm just like, in the process, I'm just like, I started swinging the the great sword like around my head and shoulders like a like a whirlwind, and I'm just like, like a lasso. coming after him, like, get back here! Just spitting blood everywhere. Uh, yep, here we And the double chop. One chop hit. one, chop two. Uh, one miss, actually. His armor class is 30. That's okay. I'll take it. Get him right across Showing. the back again. Slash. R 2d6. Oh, I, I forgot. I keep forgetting to add one damage, because I have to... I, while I'm werewolfed, I add half my proficiency bonus, so it's probably oh. still going to be one three-roll. Yeah, because it's a three-round down. Yep, three-rounded down. Right, nice. So eight nice. plus... Ooh! Sweet. And then Seventeen. You slash him right in, the, and then as you almost like rev the handle of the sword, and you send another burst of electricity surging through his back. Yeah. Unfortunately, this asshole ran out of the range of my lightning. I think you can. I think stopped. Can't you, you get you can in move range? And then do it again. Uh, no, I cannot. I have no more spell slots. Um, oh. Or right. you can't. You can't like. The spell is broken. You can't close uh, range with him. Unfortunately. Oh well. Uh, so, which is fine. Um, uh, Eldritch Blast has a much longer range, so I'm going to fire off a little Eldritch Blast in his direction. All right. I'd move... 13 no, hits? I'd move a little closer, too, just so oh, yeah, we okay, keep okay, closing in the sky. 13 is armor class, actually, that misses. Because we've been doing if it meets, it misses. Mm -hmm. That for you guys. So, unfortunately, that does not hit. Um, I am going to move closer, though, so that I... Right. You also give chase, inspired by Iron Wolf and Gedwin, Amstel mm -hmm. gives chase to the retreating tyrant of Velaki. I should Speaking think I have one more squared move, sorry. Speaking of Gedwin, it's his turn. Do you get Amstel, when do you get two Eldritch Blasts? Is that... No, 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 I have unlimited Eldritch Blasts. Well, no, I. but like, at what point do you get two attacks? Oh, you don't ever get two attacks with spells. Uh, with Eldritch oh. Blast, you do. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yep. Oh, I don't know if I get that as a warlock. I know what you're talking about. I have it. I'm not sure. Schism has it. Schism does. Oh, you know what? I'll look it up. Yeah, you get you get to a certain level, and then you get multiple attacks with your Eldritch Blast. Hmm. 
per round. All right, well, I'll definitely look that up for because, next time. Because I have that in the other game, but I'm not a warlock. Uh, hang on. Here, I got it. Uh, Dan, would you like to take your turn? Deed, deed. Let's see. Oh. More than one beam when you reach higher levels. So at fifth level, you make two. You attack twice oh, with it. Oh, I should have two already. Then. You should. Matt, you have two shots then, so take another hit. You do. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to like. That hit. There you go. By all the means. Beam, he lashes out with his demonic arm and catches yes. it and crushes it. But the second one, you, there was like one behind the first one, and it impacts and shatters yes. some of his fingers, and he screams. That's <laughs> <laughs> my bastard. <laughs> How do I mark this that I... How do I mark this that I have two of these attacks? Or should I just oh, try and... um, go to your character sheet. Core. Yep. Then right, scroll all the way down to, for your features and traits, and I'll add it right there. So I'm gonna Okay, cool. Eldritch Blast, X2. Then at level 11, you get three. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. That's go. why I it's like a really good... a lot more blasting in the last battle we had. Oh, that's too. okay. It's a, it's that's a... Right. It's actually a really decent standby when you're not, when you're out of like other spells. Just keep blasting. Always be blasting is my motto. <laughs> A B B. Yeah, Always, be Always be blasting. Always be blasting. All right, get when you're up, buddy. Uh, is a diagonal move five feet or ten feet? Uh, five feet. I did him. I did him as five. Okay. Uh, Join me, brother. Would I be able to dash? And Join me in battle, brother. Would I be able to dash and tackle? Um, I'll let you do that. Okay. Um, what what do I roll? Um, strength. Give me a strength, a post strength to try and tackle him to the. Ooh. Uh, strength check, but that's not safe. Right? Yeah, strength check. So you got a fifteen. So there is like a clash of titans as Gedwin goes, Rah! and then just tries to tackle him. There's like poof, they grab each other by the shoulders and. The only reason Isaac isn't brought down to the ground is that he's slightly taller than you and uses that, that height advantage. Um, however, at the end of his turn, he throws his battle axe at Iron Wolf's feet and kneels and says, I surrender. Kill, do not kill me. I will bring you whatever you need. I will let you meet with the Burgomaster. I will make sure all your crimes are removed. I will not, I will not die here, please. I beg you, do not kill me. Not kill me. Oh, Hang on oh a second. wait, Hang wait. On a so he, is he talking to Iron Wolf or all of us? He's he's addressing all of you. Okay. I look at him with grave disappointment, and then, uh, um, <clears throat> I I say, hmm, some honorable warrior you are. I spit at him. Ooh, it lands right on his face, and he he. He scowls like he would give anything to fight you, but he knows he can't win this. I put I put my like my hand out to to Gedwin, sort of like a slow down gesture. I I, st I just start walking towards the ladder, and I'm just like, ah, uh, finish off that poor lamb. Hang on a second. So I don't like. I have no more respect for him. He's a little bitch. I don't I don't even know if we can trust this guy. That's the yeah. thing. I I mean I'd, I'd kill him, but fuck I'm gonna give Gedwin inspiration for that. Yeah. That was a good kid. Good job, um, guy. cause like, so I I I know, I know the state that Isaac Strazny is in, cause it's like the same state that I am in. But it seems like he's a bit further along, um, than I am. Yeah, it looks like. Oh, do you ask him about that? Well, <sighs> cause you do see like he's got this strange arm that's manifesting. Yeah, I get I, like this. I'm, um, cause I can't I can't like. I can't divulge anything directly, but you could, you could ask him about the arm if you want. He's at your mercy. He's not gonna fight back. No, he's... totally. Just like, just sort of like in, in like Seriously. in like hushed tones with the uh, Isaac. I'm just, I'm just gonna be like, like, listen. I know, I know, we're not friends. We're clearly not allies, but uh, you and I, As we you say that... have a similar, we have a similar curse to bear. So as you say that. He's... <laughs> Friends, there is only few things in this world. Strength. Yes. You are not friends. There are no friends. Um, oh, actually, 
actually, he, I, I made a mistake. He's supposed to say strength and family. Mm. Um, so you, you ask him about his arm, like you gesture that. You say, yeah, I say, I'm, I'm like, how many times have you died? Three times. First time, my greatest shame. I lost my sister, Irina, when she was just a lamb. Tiny little thing. I died defending her from werewolf. The second time I died, when I woke, I could not remember any joy. Any sadness, just this rage. I died the second time. Combat. Bergensen. Defending my master, Vargas Valakovich. He then says, I lost my arm. And when I awoke the next day, he flexes the broken demonic arm. Mm -hmm. I had two in its place. <laughs> yeah. I think he's. I think he just has one one bad arm in place of the yep. old one. It has double the amount of normal fingers and thumbs, though. <laughs> it has eight fingers and two thumbs. Oh man, I have a cat with an extra toe. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he looks. He he explains that after the second time he died, um, he was gifted this arm by, according to him, Vargas Vlakovich. Um, the third time he died, um, he said that he died fighting this strange creature that was essentially he describes some large cat like beast um, you can roll hold on a sec you guys can roll either nature or animal handling to figure out what this thing is uh, 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 sure yeah cat big cat <laughs> big old cat <laughs> big terrible cat uh, Amstel you quickly realize he's describing what could only be a saber toothed tiger wow it's like 12, he says it's 12 feet long, stands about up to a man's chest by the shoulder, and has these two knives coming out of its mouth. God, I'd um, rather not fight one of those. He says that it was found stalking around an abandoned lone castle, a uh, castle tower. Huh. Um, All right. Stalking around a tower. Uh, what? Well, I, I mean... That actually reminds you of something. Remember, you all remember speaking to yeah. our good friend... Madame Ava, I'm looking at this that. fortune comes to your mind. Oh, oh wait, you're, you're sending something in the chat. A sword of sunlight with the power of the devil. The catacombs of Van Richten. By the way, my question is, um, mm -hmm. uh, I'm still a level behind because I never talked to her. Yeah, but you're going to gain a level after this, so. Yeah, well, I'm going to, well, everyone's going to gain Oh, no, no, just you. How come just me? Uh, I'm, just, I'm just trying to catch you up, essentially. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so I'm never going to speak to what's her face? You can, you just have to find her. Okay, uh, I guess... Okay. Would, um, I mean, would the Isaac... The tower does remind you, because it describes a lonely tower. Yeah. Do okay. we do we need to know the specific location of it, or do we just, we kind of know uh, where it is? No, you have no idea where it is. Okay. Uh, it's not, in fact, you've actually scanned the map, it doesn't show up on the map. Right. I guess, um, I mean, like... Can you tell us where this tower is? I don't. He looks at you and he says, "In exchange for my life, I will lead you there. Do everything I can to keep you safe." All right. Well, but before before that, though, I just I just ask Isaac. You know, I say like, "So dying three times is there any limit to this, or is this?" He looks at you with these dead eyes that are just burning with hatred, not just for you, but just for every yeah. every. Everything in existence this guy hates, except maybe one thing. Mm -hmm. The reason it might be his sister, just yeah. by looking at him. Um, he says, death here is just a nap until the devil is finished playing with you. Become one of his thralls. You will always come back unless you die on huddled ground. This land, if you are here with soul, will not let you leave that easily hmm. so can I do I don't know would it be a perception check to see if we can tr if he if he seems trustworthy if oh wait so he doesn't want to uh, die be, yes. is, is this hollowed ground then is that why he doesn't want to die here um you can actually both roll insight that would be the appropriate check here sure yeah Woof. nothing right. um Amsel you wouldn't trust him as far as you could throw him which isn't hit because he's like a big seven foot tall dude and I have no strength. So yeah, that makes sense. Um, Iron Wolf quickly realized that 
he's probably not happy with how, what he is after dying so many times. Um, dying again, he might be terrified of what happens to him after a few. Yeah. Um, no, I understand. I mean, wasn't happy about the first death either. I understand. You know, like I didn't, I didn't like it either. Um, yeah, no, it's not, it's not pleasant. Um, but at least, you know, like you say, if like someone were to die on hollowed ground, there is, there is a relief to be had. It's not like he, he nods and he says, "Tis cold, blessed sleep." soul is said to escape them. Return. Well, they were promised. This play. He, he smirks and laughs a bit. Take it. Where have you not? I smell the corruption in the air. The thick miasma clings to you. The bones are gone. Where have they gone? Who took Wait, so he's asking about the bones, like where they've yeah, gone. He's like, I don't, I don't sense them here. He says, "Did your little?" Uh, they're they're in a safe place, but make sure they get. Back. He said, "Make sure." Sorry, you just keep breaking up whenever you oh, do that. Sorry. He's like, uh, voice. <laughs> <laughs> he says, "Make sure they get back where they belong." Yeah, I say that's. I think I think we can. We can agree on that. Um, I say, you know, I like listen, Isaac. You know, we have no reason to trust each other, but I respect, I respect your, <clears throat> you know, your bond to your to your sister, even in even beyond death. And uh, he he growls and looks away. As you say that, you know, he doesn't seem ashamed of it. In fact. Like there was a brief moment where he actually seemed like hopeful, possibly. Like, yeah. Not 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 hope, but he looks relieved when you you say that you respect him a bit. Yeah, I you know. We've got our differences, but if uh, if you can help I us, I still don't respect him. He's a little bitch. If <laughs> Gedwin chimes in with that helpful little little statement. No, Gedwin's, <laughs> Gedwin's upstairs now. He's like, fuck it, dude. Yeah, that's oh. fine. If uh, you know. If it comes to blows again, you know how we'll finish this. You know, one of us is going to die, but for the time being, uh, I like I extend my hand and I hold I hand him his axe. I said, "We'll we'll accept your help if you're willing to give it." He stands up, takes the axe back. Um, he nods and he says, "You wish to leave? Be at Blue Water Inn or any of the gates. I will go speak with Vargas to remove the bounty on your head." He then turns and starts walking out doesn't say thank you well I, I i guess i like i tell him before he goes this is a this is a small thing but um we have that portrait of vargas still um he's been looking for that for five years i say if it's any if it's any if it's any sign of goodwill take it it's his he walks over takes it and tucks it under his left arm the big strong one he's he nods and he says he will thank you for this he then right. leaves the, the grave diggers. All right. Uh, at this point. Hopefully this works. Uh, you guys gather your stuff. What would you like to do? And Jorbus, what would you like oh, to do? As you uh, get... Sorry for leaving you there for a bit. No, it's fine. Uh, get one. You're also I'm hit level six. Yay. Hooray. I'm taking a fighter level this time. Sweet. Because I didn't Ooh, get exciting. any actual... Uh, yeah, spread love, baby. Well, no, because you, you remember I told you my. Oh, right, my you didn't thing. receive a beam, like a, a, a designation from your god. Or, or not from my god, from a divine. I don't count, like, the repeat thing from using the amulet, otherwise, I'll never get to do a firefighter level. Mm -hmm. All right, fair uh, enough, fair enough. I'm fine with that. No holy right. transmission. Yeah, it's just, oh, you're at a reception range. Yeah. Jesus, what? <laughs> I can't hear you. No, it's cool, cause I'm actually excited. Fighter level three is fucking badass, dude. You guys yeah. are gonna love it. I guess we probably hightail it to meet up with Jorbus, but in between right. there's some Jorbus time. Good luck, good luck tracking me. <laughs> yeah, you guys go. You go back. You you hope above hope that Jorbus had the uh, the the thought to go back and bring <laughs> bring the bones back to the church. Um, <laughs> it's like Jorbus, Lassie. <laughs> What have you been doing this whole time? <laughs> like a choir boy. Boy in it up, singing. You're singing? All right, give me a deception check. <laughs> see 
Like you don't know what the Barovian hymns are. Oh, like, he rolled. He rolled so high. I, I, I swept That's to stuff. become the, al the altar boy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sing. Sing. Uh, <laughs> <I got laughs> two, don't forget. I know. I believe. A twenty-five. You rolled a twenty-five. I love it. All right. So Jorvis is, <laughs> is in like one of the most lackluster, lack like lackadaisical courses ever because no one really believed religion here. Strahd's just too, too much of an asshole to have anyone believe in anything aside from his own megalomania. <laughs> Um, so Jorbus, thankfully, since you don't know the lyrics, you can half-ass it enough that no one, no one's the wiser. Hell yeah. You know, you're kind of going like, oh, Strahd is a dick. He makes me sick. I hope he'll go away. <laughs> yeah. It's a swinging oh, tune. We got any good old clothes here? Uh, clothes. so the, so the priest. Boy clothes. Boy clothes. <laughs> yeah, like one of the altar boys goes, hey man, you want some boy clothes? Here you go. Gives you some boy clothes. Yeah. You know, it's like a little naval uniform, like they would dress babies in. You know, a little I, naval, like Donald Dunk, essentially. I, I, Donald I, Dunk. I'm gonna Donald <laughs> Dunk. <laughs> oh. Oh. Boy clothing. Boy clothes, baby. That's like uh, the new nickname for Trunks, Trump's youngest. Donald Dunk. Any good food? <laughs> uh, no, just bread and scraps. Like some dried jerky and stuff. Any good things to steal here? <laughs> there's a couple art objects. You know, there's some like silver candelabras, like some small reliefs and portraits that could fetch a price, but you probably shouldn't sell them here because people know where they come from. Uh, also, at this point, Father Lucian approaches you and says, You do not seem like one of my altar boys. What are yeah, you I'm, doing? I, mean, I told you I'm that little lost altar boy, you, you dummy. Oh. <laughs> deception, <laughs> che deception check with disadvantage. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> Nervous laughter. It's a regular fourteen. It's a plain old fourteen. Oh wait, oh, this way I got to two, right? Yep. One, one, roll one. Come on, big money. Oh, All right. Shit. He goes. You're the one I asked to get the bones back. How did that go? I'm a little confused. <laughs> you you know you're covered in blood. <laughs> That's jam from all, all of the berries I was picking on my way here. Deception check with disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <shit. nice. laughs> he goes, oh, forgive me then. I really yeah. hope we don't get killed by vampires. <laughs> <laughs> me neither. At this point, clump, 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 Amstel, Gedwin, and Iron Wolf arrive at the church. Jorby boy. I, I run out back and I put on my little boy clothes and I come back in. <laughs> so you guys see Jorba Sigerson walk in with like a little like a little, little little pair of overalls and like a black a black shirt. Mm -hmm. And he's got like a little little sailor hat on. Which is weird because Barovia's landlocked. <laughs> so there's no there's no seat. <laughs> but okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna actually re reveal the church too. Jorby, where's the bones? I, I go, here's the bones. And like Oprah Winfrey, I, I make them rain from the sky. I like trying to catch the them. Bones, bones all right, well, you you throw the bones in the air, and you all realize that the bones were damaged, so if they fall and they're ancient, no. they'll probably fall apart. Give God, me a dexterity no. saving throw. Everybody, Everybody? please yeah. catch these goddamn there bones. There are ten bones in the air. There's a skull, <sighs> two femurs, two arms, Oh, can I use my uh, ribs. gloves to grab them all? They're not missiles, so no. I, I you also control. threw them in the air, so I'm not going to wait, wait, wait. Damn it, Jorvis. <laughs> you, threw them. you threw them, Jacob. I'm not rolling until we, like, Check. discuss. <laughs> we actually doing this. God damn it. Hmm. Why would you do that? I oh, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You on? I, I'm casting an unseen servant to... Well, we, we didn't rest, did we? No. Damn I would it. say no. I have no spell... I could have cast unseen servant if I had any spell. <laughs> Come on. Damn it. Uh... <laughs> God damn. Seriously. I don't want to... I don't want to roll. I like... <laughs> I'm like... I'm like vetoing this. <laughs> right, I, I... I got... Then... And wait. No, I got nothing. Okay. Dex, you said big Dex save. Dex saving throw. Alright, you See if you can it. save these bones. <sighs> ah, fuck. Alright, Pete, waiting on you, buddy. Oh, oh wait, actually, no, dexterity, not dexterity save. Sorry. Oh, yep, go ahead and roll. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yep, better roll that again. Jesus Christ. 
Oh, I rolled dexterity save, not dexterity uh. save. Let me roll again. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. What's the what's the 17 from Amstel mean? He catches he catches two bones. There's two? eight currently falling in the in the air. Son of a bitch. That's good enough. Bark and bite catches done as well. He tried though, guys. <laughs> he really did. So dexterity <laughs> save. How do we just just click on dexterity? There? <laughs> Motherfucker. Like a very oh. soft blanket you could throw out. Does someone have a... <laughs> no, my my pelt? Stone. Uh, that's what I mean. Oh, it's one of them like a nice blanket in our packs Here, we could throw. Try, um, Iron Wolf, that's stealth. Nope. Yeah, the, the browser, oh like, <laughs> derped down. Well, good thing we did that mission. I, I'm just picturing a little boy going to a church with the great <laughs> <those> artifacts. <laughs> <laughs> so I, wa I, walk out, I walk out the door. You see Iron Wolf say Jorby, where are those bones? And Jorby goes right here! <laughs> oh my god. So fed up. You're not my son anymore. And then he throws them in the air. God damn it. Uh... Holy shit. Amso manages to catch the skull, and then the other nine bones crash and turn into dust on the ground. You see a you see a brief flicker of holy power go, oh, and then dissipates. Maybe maybe two are better than none. I don't know. Put them in an urn or something. <laughs> you you he, like Father Lucian runs in after you sweep the dust into the urn. He goes, I heard something go. Oh, what happened here? What happened? Oh. Oh, Mr. Amstel, you got the bone. <laughs> Where are the other nine? I look at him and I say, they came like this. Fuck. <laughs> um, oh, God. I'm outside. I'm Terrible. <laughs> Jarvis, one more roll, you have disadvantage. He knows you're fucking lying. <laughs> okay, yes. yeah, nine. He looks at me and says, that's a lie. Where are the other nine? You have no idea how important these bones uh are. I put my little boy outfit and I, I put one in my, my back leg or one of my legs behind Oh the my other god, are you fucking gonna kick I... the, Are you gonna fucking like no. pull your arms behind your back and be like, Shucks, mister, I don't know. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I made an accident. <laughs> Father Lucian looks at you and then he, with, with utmost despair in his eyes, he goes, uh. All of us are damned. <laughs> We have no defense against Strahd's army now. There's one left. <laughs> Fuck. He takes the skull from Amstel and just he uh. lays its forehead against his own and starts weeping. <laughs> They're like, we're all going to die. <laughs> I'm, I, just, I just walk back into the room and I'm just like, I'm just kicking Jorvis. <laughs> like, you stupid idiot kid. You fucked us. <laughs> he even looks at you and says, why would you do this? <laughs> <sighs> just not even like rolling attack rolls, just like just just, just kicking him, damage. kicking him. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Piece of garbage, little known. I, <laughs> I even said they were cracked. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it was just wow. it was worth it though for the look at me. Yeah. <laughs> right here thing um all right so that's a big old mission fail <laughs> the, bones the bones are dust um get when you still get a level though oh uh, yeah don't look at me dude <coughs> so you I know got you everything sucked out of me you guys try and like apologize and father lucian just get out get out all of you get out it just shouts and starts weeping <sighs> you guys shamefully lower your heads and leave the church Wait, the, I want to quit. The, the I want to quit the game. Oh, it <laughs> right? I can't so stand this. Can't um, wait, what was that, Dan? I didn't hear you over. Uh, it doesn't. Um, the 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 soul leaving the bones doesn't count as a holy experience, right? Well, you already took the level, so I would say it, it's up to interpretation for you. <laughs> okay, I guess the next one's probably going to be a cleric level then. All right. Um, if I remember, <laughs> it's going to be a guys, while. You guys head back to the Blue Water Inn. Um, I don't know. What do you guys yeah, do at this point? Leave. Wherever, wherever uh, Ezek told us to go. It doesn't. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. So why'd you guys come back to Vlaki anyway? 
Hmm? Wait, are you asking us that? Yeah, you guys wanted to go to the wine fields, right? Yeah. I wanted to go to the wine fields. Fuck this town. I don't remember. I just, I'm here because they didn't want to go with me. Alright, cool. So as you go back to the town, the Blue Water Inn, Ugh. um, Uriel Martikov looks at you guys and says, Oh! Oh, you're back! How wonderful! Uh, do you have time to discuss that business I mentioned earlier? Yeah, you wanted us to go to the wine fields or something, or... Yes. Yeah, yes. we'll do that. Why the long faces, gentlemen? You look rather upset. Oh, uh, uh. I... I, I, I just, like, in. I reach behind the bar and I, like, pour myself a drink. I'm just... <laughs> uh, I, I also, life. I, I <laughs> very weakly smack down on the table. Barkeep. <laughs> oh, hit. Oh, oh, get one. Are you all right there? Uh, I've had better days, my friend. Well, how is your how is your wife? Oh, she's doing fine. A little scar on her throat, but she'll be right as rated. I thank you for your con your your kindness and mm. question. I I nod and say thank you, Um, then I say, if you would be so kind, a drink oh. and a and a bed. Mm, yes. Oh, before I do that, though, could I possibly do you a favor? And do, do me a favor? <laughs> yes. I will keep you here for free. No, no, no fee for the lodgings, as well as all the wine you can drink. Do me but a small favor. Uh, okay. Yeah, what, yeah, uh, yeah. what kind of favor are we talking about? You gotta find these but, bones. <laughs> You gotta go find grandpa's bones. <laughs> um, so he nods and he says, "All right, then. so this is the this is what I would ask from you. If you would be so. Good. Uh, the last shipment of our wine has been a month out. All efforts to make contact with my father in the wine fields have basically been brought to nothing. Um, I cannot leave for fear of Domirava's safety, as well as the raising of our two young boys. But." If you could do me this kindness and maybe go to the wine fields and see if my father is still able to keep up with his de the demands of his uh, his winery, I would be most most grateful. In return for this, I will give you a small heirloom that the Martikovs have been entrusted with. And he pulls out a small velvet laced box that is carved from polished deadwood. Um, mm. He opens it up, and inside you see. A small statue of a raven perched on a cleric's shoulder. Um, the statue is carved from polished obsidian, except for the man. The man is carved from what looks like ruby crystal. Um, so the raven actually turns its head to look at you guys and goes, caw, caw. <laughs> Very gently. Um, he says, this right here passed down the Martikov line for generations. However, if our wine fields go sour and the land spoil and hmm. become infertile, I'm afraid the Martikovs will die with my sons. So, do us this favor and I will reward you greatly. Free lodging, as long as you all draw breath. Free wine, as long as you all draw breath. And, of course, the small heirloom, the Martikov. The Martikov icon of power. We'll see why we should yes. guys. Let's sure. do it. <laughs> I I can't fuck up a whole vineyard. I weakly Maybe uh, you as, can. They, as they all agree <laughs> and I just very weakly slap slam the table again and go Our last and then I just like tilt back and like fall asleep in my chair. <laughs> Alright. Um so <clears throat> we'll just say to you you guys get a long rest so all your HP becomes normal. <laughs> um Oh we get normal HP? Yeah, you take a long rest, so you get your oh, your yeah. your drained HP is recovered. Oof. Um, so oh, this, we get our dice back too, right? Yes. So, in the middle of the night, while you're all taking your long rest, since we're gonna end in like five minutes, um, let's see here. I lost my character okay. sheet somehow. Uh, Jorbis. Oh God. You stir. <laughs> um, you know it's hard for you to sleep. You. It was funny when you thought of it, you know, like you were gonna throw the bones, everyone would catch them, and you'd all juggle, and maybe sing a song about how great everything was. <laughs> but it just, everything it just, awesome. yeah, it just horribly backfired on you, and the bones are dead. You know, you made a man. <laughs> the cry. bones are dead. <laughs> okay. 
The bones and the power they have are dead. Um, oh well. Next time Dan slips the tongue when he's DM, I'm gonna be like. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> gonna... That's fair. More power to you, my friend. <laughs> I'm just joshing, but. No, no, no. But I, I don't give a fuck. Do it. <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> That's what we're here <laughs> for, right? <laughs> That's true. So, okay. So, Jorvis, you wake up in a cold sweat. Mm -hmm. Uh, what do you do? You feel guilty, but you're not sure. You don't think that's what woke you up. You hear, you heard a slight creaking sound like. I go, Father, what are you doing here? Father, I <laughs> the, Daddy. The, the church person, oh, not the. Daddy, get out of here. Not thrall. Okay. So what what so, are you doing here? As you say that, uh, give me a perception check. And that would be. Boom. Team. All right, Jorbus. Yo. Your blood goes cold for a brief moment, for you see in the corner of the room, there's a small doll. Uh. It's seated up, and it's looking at you, perched on a nearby unoccupied chair. The doll is the Strahd puppet. Yeah. Uh, that you, one of the orphans had. It's seated on this table <laughs> or this chair. Nice. And is looking looking at you, glowing. Or it's briefly illuminated by the moonlight. And then it whispers to you, it says, Jarvis. Jarvis. <laughs> Hello? You hear, you hear me, yes. Yeah, I guess, dude. You have done me. A great favor by destroying them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> come, come closer, so I may see you in the moon. I, I, I say no. My family taught me not to. Stranger danger! Stranger danger! Stranger <laughs> danger! <laughs> Don't yeah. take the candy. I, I, uh, <laughs> I. Please. Since I'm weird, I, I sleep with my sword. I I said. Well, you're a rogue. It makes sense. I say, come closer, doll, so I could see you. My eyes are not good. Very well. I stab it. If it floats, <laughs> and it floats towards you. Roll an attack roll. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> this thing's dead. Here's my attack. Boom. You pierce the puppet, and like a scene from Evil Dead, blood just gouts out of it in this thick. Hydronic, hydraulic torrent of <laughs> thick, red, sticky blood that's warm and it just splatters all over your face and gets in your mouth and your eyes and your nose until you almost are drowning the blood and you hear Strahd's laughter going <laughs> <laughs> and then the doll says you have sealed this town's doom, boy <laughs> boy <laughs> The blood stops, and the doll floats by, and you see that the doll's shadow is that of a tall man, about 6'5", with cape billowing behind He says, I am your only hope for survival here, little gnome. And who might you be? Count Strahd von Zarovich. More like Count Cock McCockovich, <laughs> am I right? Am I right? I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> I Am I right? The bad guy. <laughs> he smiles and says, "The baddest guy." The baddest. <laughs> I, heard, I heard women like bad boys. I became bad boy. And hey, Joyby, Joyby, I'm a real bad boy. You like bad boys? Uh, I'm a bit. Come close. I'm a big bad boy, Joyby. <laughs> oh shit, Matt, that's awesome. <laughs> oh no. It seems so pertinent. What is that? <laughs> It's the episode of Angel where Angel becomes a fucking puppet. Oh God, where, where was this posted? Oh, in, in the twenty chat. Okay, gotcha. So Strahd beckons to the. <laughs> oh wait, this is okay. Jesus. I, the I I didn't see that episode, but I do know that uh, there was a guy on Reddit that's like, whenever someone asks why they shouldn't watch Rick and Morty, I. Um, I uh, I linked them this one thing and it's like where they have like the uncle and then and then uh, we're walking uh, here and then uh, Rick comes and kills him and they're like what you just killed our uncle and then uh, he's like no that was some alien parasite that infected your mind 
By you the way, to... that episode is so fucking good. I watched it again just the other day, and it is... <laughs> that episode of Rick and Morty is what got me into the show, too. It's perfect. With the but... refrigerator, where they're like, yeah. well, what about the Wait. time on the roller coaster? Roller coasters are supposed to be scary. <laughs> yeah, like remember that time we were on the roller coaster and we all kept screaming. <laughs> anyway, so Jarvis is blood drenched and Strahd is talking to him. He basically says one thing to you, Jarvis. He says, "Bring me holy symbol of Raven kind, and I will let you come under my protection, and I will remove." Phantom that haunts your knees. Uh, I say, yeah, sure, sure, whatever, dude. And uh, I'm, I'm totally lying. All right, he's gonna roll inside to oppose. And that's plus two. Ooh. All right. So he's gonna use his legendary action to succeed instead. Oh. Great. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck you. Yeah. He looks at you and he says, "Do you take my deal, boy?" So wait, he knows I'm lying, and he's still doing action to yep. know that I was lying? He just knows you're lying. He, he always lie knows. Again? Oh. But you get the feeling he just knows, like he'll be able to figure it out. Uh, I, I gotta sleep on the- I, I go. No sleep. I can't do the voice. No anymore. sleep, tell Brooklyn! I gotta, I gotta sleep on this one. He says, you need to answer now, or the deep is gone. Uh, probably not. <laughs> Very well. You are granted mercy once. Baby voice. <laughs> no, I can't right now, clown. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ask me when I think straight. He turns. The puppet turns on you and falls to the ground, and the laughter of Strahd resonates, and he says, "You were shown mercy once. Don't expect it a second time." Everyone else has a perfectly normal night's sleep. Yeah, I sleep really well. <laughs> the next morning, Jorvis Exceed, walks out Exceedingly of his room. well. Jorvis walks out of his room. Uh, Iron Wolf, give me your wisdom save to see if you berserk or not from your corruption. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jorvis. Hey, kid. Uh, here's my character sheet. Wisdom save. Waboosh. You repress this corruption, and then you walk out. All of you are flabbergasted, for Jorbus walks out covered head to toe in this, what you assume is painted first, but then the scent hits you, and you realize it's dried blood <laughs> drenched in it, like you just jumped in a giant barrel of it. <laughs> Morning, kid. I'm, like, sipping my coffee in the paper, like, feet up. <laughs> hey, kid. The Barovia Times. I just sleep. sucks still. Yeah, everything <laughs> sucks still. Do, do pages know? and pages of suck. Yeah. Yeah. Strawberry sauce? Strawberries. You know you're covered in blood. Oh, shit. I Just see. lying to himself. You were conscious when it happened to you. Oh, I don't realize there's a blood storm going on. Uh, <laughs> did I not say that? I thought I said that. He was so like I Evil Dead. It. Yeah, I said uh, it was like Evil Dead. There's blood everywhere. Oh, I don't I don't know what Evil Dead is. Um, You've never seen yeah, Evil Dead. I guess I haven't. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. I guess I go, oh, the house. Where's the shower? <laughs> 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 Did you just say race you to the showers? No, where, where's oh. the showers? Sure, race you to the showers. <laughs> 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 oh, God. That's not what I said, but if you want to do that, that's fine. I only heard to the showers, so I thought you said race you to the showers. No, I, I Man. Where, where's the showers? Um, if you want to race me, Iron Wolf. Anyone else react? Anyone else react to Dorvis being absolutely covered in blood? No, I just, I just, it just enforces my grudge. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Let's see. So this is. Uh, are we downstairs now? You said. Uh, I'll say you're on the second floor. You're All the of second you are in the rooms on the second floor. And you, when you leave, you notice that Dorvis oh, is just I, I covered in this dried blood. Hmm. I wanted to CC everybody. I only sent to see you. Okay. Uh, what kind of check can I do? A religion. Religion. Sure. Oh, that's a terrible. <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I was, I was looking for unholy shit. How you recall, dare you? You recall, you recall tales of Fly when all. a boy became a man in certain religious cultures, they would dunk him in a barrel of blood <laughs> to reinstate like birth or something to show that he's okay. become a man. 
I look I look at Jorbus and I say You son of a bitch. I'm look proud at this. of you, boy. <laughs> and I give him a nod of approval and I keep walking down. <laughs> Emsel, do you anything? This is Jorbus covered in blood. Look, did you guys see this? <laughs> I sent them this. Oh, what'd you send? Gmail. Just send it again. Oh my god. I've got him holding it up. It's horrible. Jorvis. <laughs> I just want to shake him so bad. <laughs> what the fuck is... Oh my god. Like a baby. Like a baby you're not supposed to shake. <laughs> just, just, I'm just... I just want to pick him up and shake him until he's black and blue. <laughs> shake him, you're fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is a stock image of a guy making it rain. <laughs> 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 Alright, before we end, Amstel, do you say anything to your, uh, your comrade Jarvis. who's covered head to toe in blood? Uh, what the hell happened? He earned it. I go, I go, you ever hear of this guy named Strudel? Strudel. <laughs> named Strudel? Do I, do I remember? Because Jarvis is stupid, isn't he? No, you remember. It happened oh, like okay. four hours ago. <laughs> okay. Also for the stream buddies. I, oh yeah, I was, I was waving it around to me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how'd you make that fast? Jorvis. I went on GIMP for like two seconds. Oh. Uh, he planned it. He did okay. it yesterday. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's just my plan. Oh, oh, oh. So, Ariel walks Why? up. Why can't I hold all these bones, right? Yeah, Ariel I... walks up and says, Gentlemen, Only got two hands. Oh my god! What the? What happened here? Is he okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. He's I'll be alright. Why is he covered in blood? He's fine. I don't care. Okay. What? I care very much. <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> care. So he nods and he says the showers are on the, on the outside of the town. Uh, do you have any big old buckets of liquid? Yeah, here, follow me. So he takes you to the kitchen and puts you in a giant barrel of rainwater. There it's is. ice cold and it's very uncomfortable. I'm and you and you get pneumonia and then you die. You got no. you got you got sick after. Do I gotta roll something? No, you're good. That's, <laughs> that's Dan. I'm not. Clean. Yeah. He says you owe me one barrel of water. Give him uh, a gold coin. No, consider it paid. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, we'll call that a session, guys. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Thanks for playing I am, tonight. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you broke everything. <laughs> I did not realize what I was doing at the time. <laughs> so, guys, a couple things before we, we break up this party. Oh, it could have um, been a... One, you have to watch that Muppet video if you've never seen it that I linked, the last one the standby music video, but two, uh, what are the plans for PAX and how many of us are going to be there and for how oh, long? Yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to be Friday. there all weekend. I'm going there Thursday to Sunday. Okay. I'm only there Friday.